on on the show as well plus of course your calls and your messages and and what uh next up is james whale unleashed but i'm not going to let you go without giving my team a shout out island loneness has done brilliant work as always ditto carla batisti who's in the studio as we speak to matt 20 seconds thornton dropping every by the minute um george yanakis yanakis sorry about that and another isla theobald thank you so much to my team have a lovely eve i will see you again tomorrow and we'll do the same thing again then this is talk tv for the news that matters for the opinions that matter for the stories that matter. Find me, Vanessa Feltz, every weekday at 4 p.m. Only on talk, on TV, on radio, online, and on your smart speaker. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online, and we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to happen and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Oi, oi, right, treat girl. Having a conversation with a professional journalist, he chose to belittle her, diminish her, um, and use sexist language. I can't stand the word casual sexism. There's nothing casual about igniting and using kind of diminishing and belittling language about anyone, especially someone who's trying to do her job. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest. When a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. And when the media constantly refer to trans criminals, when they are biological men as women, we will no longer put up with these lies about our gender anymore and about our sex. Trans woman, it's not a woman, trans woman. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. I, that's robust. It's going to cause a, an argument. It's going to cause tension. But we've got to do it, because otherwise this country is going down the path. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying, um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting the badge. Quite um, right, too. Yeah. Quite yeah. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media, having been dragged off my eight-pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. One parent commented on a review of Peppa Pig that their daughter had begun to lash out since watching the show and added that Peppa is rude, bossy, a liar, tattletale and even more. Say it's not so. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh. It's carry on what just <laughs> happened. Ooh, uh, listen. There was a suggestion by some that maybe it was nice to put a statue of the Queen on the fourth plinth. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. So he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. That's quite a small statue then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans. Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, you put him in an ice cream store. And once you get defeated by a guy named Begley, that's <laughs> it. You retire from politics, and you speak to Rosanna on primetime and have a lot more fun. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, had lots of racism in it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. They're now trying to say, hey, we've got a really clever idea for the cost of living crisis. Right. Eat cereal for dinner. But for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, t when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist we're, we're, we're did fail her. Yeah, we're supposed to have was moved on from that. Era. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth.
Look, I'm getting ready for my new primetime show on talk TV and radio, 7 o'clock Saturday night, James Whale Unleash. I don't need you coming in here, following me around with a cow. I'm so sorry about this. Saturdays at 7 on talk TV. No, you don't know. Not that close. close. A bit closer. Not a bit that higher up. close. Yeah, a bit. No, a bit lower. Not much. Lower your chair. Lower your chair. Yeah, we level up. No, no, Chuck, the producer said, oh, look, we're on air. Uh, right, very good evening. Welcome to the James Well Show. Unleashed. Starring Ash. And uh, not one of those namby-pamby programmes where they go on about, oh, we really want to hear what you have to say. Yeah, we don't. And we, we do. Oh, no, we, we do, do yeah. But don't phone in and tell me how wonderful I am, please, because, yeah. uh, you know... And don't I'm, get offended if we, you know, have a go at you for what you yeah. think. I was watching Nick Dubois. Every other person says, oh, you're so lovely, Nick. Well, he is, he is, he is. getting, he is, he is getting quite jealous. And then there's the other one, um, Peter Cardwell. They're both... Both nice, dreams. very nice. We know yeah. we're the best-looking... It winds him up. On winds TV. Him up. Um, and just before I open the, the lines and invite you to They're join They're already in, open, actually. This is a live three-hour programme, aren't they? Uh, on television and radio. On Talk TV and radio, there is no other live three-hour show that is prepared to take live on air uh, without any delay, really, because uh, yeah. you can't put a delay on TV. Uh, if you want to say something, if you want to talk about something, phone us. But if the person answering the phones makes the cock-ups they made last week, they're out. Uh, before I tell you the number, if you're easily offended and upset, do not stay tuned. We may trigger you. Mm, leave the room so now. So many people seem to have, you know, mental health issues started by people who aren't as nice to them. Heather, you're phoning in already. I haven't even given the number out. Um, so if you are easily upset, this is not the show for you. You need to go to the BBC somewhere or go and... Oh, no, you get the upset there. These hang, guys. hang on, just a minute, just a minute. I haven't given the number out. Heather, Heather. Yeah, yeah, James. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I haven't really started yet. What, what, what do you want? I'm just uh, commenting about your tie. I love your tie. You're this calling us at this exactly, hour. We could have been know, asleep world, or anything. The world is falling apart, Heather, and you want to talk about my tie. It's very kind of you. He's yeah, had that since and, 1983. Uh, I have. And uh, the state of this country is in a real mess. Yeah, we're not. Not because of my tie, though. Well, no, uh, because, them. like, uh, what's going on with all this uh, country where people's making it a mess Mm. of uh, these radical uh, protesters in London. I wish to stop it off. Heather, it's good point. It's causing no end of problems. Very Including good point. his time. We're going to talk about that. Heather in Scotland, thank you very much indeed. This is the number to call if you would like to have a chat. 03444991000. Follow the finger. Four, four. Zero, I forgot the number, hang on. 0344 one thousand. Do you want to talk about? Um, I was. If the uh, organisation hadn't taken notice, uh, by the way, I, I write this column in the Daily Express. Comes out on a Monday. I've already done Tuesday's it. chip paper. And um, we can read it online as long. I as I read it like, through yeah. the oil. Um, you shut up a minute. You really. You, if you disturb me this this evening, I'm going to. No, don't worry. Out. I won't disturb you. Oh, at all. Don't worry about. So that. anyway, I was going to say I've written about uh, this this company who only wanted a black audience. Now they've changed their minds, but. I wrote the piece in the column beforehand, and it still stands. Racist. You know, it's totally, utterly racist. And if you don't know the story, there may be some, um, a theatre uh, group in London, the West End of London, said that the uh, play they were going to put on uh, was only going to be watched by a black audience. They didn't want to have to put up with white gays. They didn't want any white gays, did yeah, they? No white gays. G A Z E, that is. And and by the way, if you identify as black, as me and Ash are tonight, yeah. You didn't um, tell me that, but oh, I, no, I, I, I did it like decided, that. Yeah. Uh, so I am identifying as uh, Caribbean, because I love the Caribbean. I've only ever been there once in my life. I, I'd just love to go and live on yeah. the beach. Uh, so I am a, a Caribbean from uh, the island of Antigua tonight. And don't ever anyone tell him he's not. Don't do the voice. No. no. Although I had a mate, there's white Although, people have that voice there. Yeah, if, I, I had a mate from Barbados, there's a white guy, and he had that. So yeah. it's it's ridiculous, yeah. really, yeah. all this. So I just think that's disgusting. Let's go to uh, Paula in Halifax. Paula, good evening. You're on the air. What is your point? Good evening, James. Are you okay? 
No, no Paula, I'm no. not okay. Can't you tell? Have you not and been don't watching? Don't ask me if I'm okay. He's far Paula. from okay. Now look what well, you've well, done. Well, I've well, actually well, had a bad well, week well, because well, you know. You've really brought it back up Paula, again. One Paula. of my dogs oh, no. died this week. One of my dogs died a couple of weeks ago. Oh, another one. Another one. Oh, yeah. anyway, what are you doing? Nothing. They're old. They were very, very old. What are you feeding them? Which I hadn't mentioned. It slipped out. I didn't mean to mention that. Because I don't want to be Ash, bored, you know. Ash. What? Paula, Ash. what do you mean, Ash? She wants a chat. No, what? she's not ringing up no, for a chat. I, no, because I, I, I feel sorry for Ash. Don't Ash. feel sorry for her. Uh, with, with all, all this war and everything goes on, you get right et up, don't you? Yeah, I know, but it's well, not really. So I can I can snap out of it, you know, quick and get you back get into right. it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's written all over your face. Yeah, that's the makeup. Yeah, yeah, that's listen, the makeup. Lady. Listen, Paula, I keep him under my thumb. I keep him in some sort of order. You don't need to worry, okay? You don't need to worry. You, you can, like that, can you just tell him to keep his frigging finger off the frigging fader? We will do it. Thank you. Honest. Now we're responsible. Yeah. Uh, sorry, so Paula, thank you very much indeed for your call from Halifax in Yorkshire. Uh, Eugene in County Durham. Eugene, it's like Eugene. Are you Eugene? Eugene. How are you doing? If that, anybody else asks me that again, I'm going to scream. Did you not hear the last time what you said? Take it for no. red. It not, it, We're it, still it, here. It's not happy phone. bunny. There is no phone. Why is Piers Morgan never been on the telly? Since this allegation against them, oh the shut people. up, you stupid man! He's on YouTube yeah. now. He's still yeah. yeah. Look, look, you can watch him on the Piers Morgan channel you, on YouTube. Just, uh, just clear your ears what, out, and I'm going to tell you. Speech, speech. I, I'm going. You have coloured people. You are an idiot. You are a stupid friggin' idiot right. because you so don't think. Stay in my house. I. You are... I Can I stay in your house? Can I stay in your you. house when I come up there? Hang on, put that fader no, no. down. He's, why not? Oh. He his Stop it. Teeth. Put it down. We will control it, or I will throw you out. And I don't care what Chuck says. <laughs> Who is the top boy here? Who's got their hand on the knob yeah. here? Right. I believe in freedom of speech, James. There is freedom yeah. of speech and freedom True. of speech. And somebody says something that is not right, you can get... I mean, I am in the mood to get really... You're making the faders rattle. Yeah. So, the fact is, Piers Morgan still works here. He now yeah. broadcasts his show on our YouTube channel yeah. where he can broadcast longer interviews and do different uh, programmes. Yeah. And if you don't believe us, look at our short film, At Virtual Ash, at the James Well, and you'll see his picture's still on the cupboard. Yeah. So, Piers is still here. Don't worry so about that. So, don't start making up rubbish yeah. yourself. Got it? I'm no making up rubbish. You're Can I come and stay at your house, Eugene? Why would you want to go and I'll stay at his house? It's cheaper, You're on the right? Michael, uh, uh, a mining village, right? Oh, yeah. Two, two coloured people stayed in my village. Can you uh, listen? We don't like the word coloured anymore. Yeah, we don't. Use we them. like the fact they're, they're, no, no, they're, they're, they're be British. A miner of colour. I'm absolutely serious. Absolutely serious. Um, so, you know, don't don't talk like that because that just sounds racist. No. I'm going to speak from my heart. No, you don't Jimmy. seem to understand, do you, that there are certain laws that you mm. have to obey and there are certain laws about racism which means you cannot say anything you like. You can say anything you like about me or Ash. Uh, the worse, the better, we might sue the arse off you. But to be quite honest, you cannot say anything that is illegal. Do you understand that, that, or are you too stupid? Brilliant. And he was learning, learning to be a doctor, right? He was going to get married the next day, right? Yeah. Don't and keep and saying right. And, and, well. and then what happened? And he went up to the park, picked her up, brought her back to my house, climbed up the stairs, threw on the bed, and then did a massive heart attack. And I have nothing against coloured people. So Good, thank you very much indeed. People of colour. Uh, honestly, if you can't speak in a coherent manner and people say, oh, you were very rude to that person because of their accent. I'm sorry. If I can't understand what the person is saying, I can't understand what the... He, yeah. he wasn't too bad. He wasn't about too bad. Some, I don't know what Let's try again. Something Mike something in... Uh, where's that? Merseyside. Merseyside. Mike. Mike. Hello there. Um, I just wanted to say... You can put it up, but not down. I'm not very happy about the way the country's going, really. 
Why have you got that silly voice? Why are you putting on a silly voice? That's I mean, not a mayor. That's a, no. we, have to, we have to get rid of the silly voice. You've got the Merseyside, you've got the West Midlands sort of accent. You've got mm. you got a... Hello there. Do you have a bit of moved? a student, I should think? I'm a what? Have you moved? Yeah, Where he is from? a student. Student. I'm from all over, really. Yeah, of course you are. I'm a big fan of the show. Of it's course you favorite. are. No, we, we, wouldn't, right? uh, we wouldn't uh, doubt it. You're ringing in. What do you want to say then? You're better than BBC and Sky. No, well, we know that. Ash, don't pander to the no, silly little... He's a great caller. TV's my favourite. Don't yeah. kiss me. OK. Uh, where do you Can live? You where, where do you live on Merseyside? Well, Liverpool, really. All right, OK. What's the nearest big town to Liverpool? Uh, Dingle. No, it's not. No, it's Notty Ash. Chocky. I beg your pardon? Chocky. Shocking. No, you're wrong. You see, the it, Wirral. Yeah, unfortunately, all your friends listening to you in the room at the moment are going to think you're a complete wretched head. And they'll be right. Can I sing you a song then? No. Yeah, go on, then, go on. No. Yeah, go on. No, Go he's on, not. let's sing no. a song. Can you put your hand there? So go on, yeah, right. sing the song. To me, this call. Thank you very much. Uh, that's a. This happens. I enjoyed that. Lots and lots of people he made a lot go of sense. through all the course. We don't go through the course. We just want them to come on, and then we eventually get good course. Tony in Lancashire. Then. Yeah, Tony. Good evening. Tony. Good evening, James and Ash. Oh, yeah. Is there any chance someone can tell City Town what a hypocrite he is? Well, I think a lot of people have been doing that regularly. He won't come on this show. Well, he won't come know. on this show. So we can't tell him. So we can't tell him. And can I tell him? Yeah, can you on, tell him? A bloody hypocrite. In what way? Well, he just said it. Well, well yeah, right. in, in, in everywhere. Right. You can't... You, no, 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 no. You, sorry, sorry, you can't say that. I Give mean, there an he example. Is. If you happen to be a cyclist, scooter yeah. rider... He's worried London. about air quality, but in the tube, is poison, it's poisonous. Yeah, it? another thing. I'm helping you out. Lee yeah. Anderson, yeah, but yeah, he allowed yeah, yeah, that yeah, on yeah, the yeah, bloody yeah. big bang. He's yeah. a bloody idiot, that city car. He gets on my bloody nerves. Is this Lee Anderson? Well, listen, you, you don't need to worry too much because it he... Is. Uh, isn't standing for mayor in uh, Liverpool. Where is he? You're joking. No, he's in Lancashire. Is he in Lancashire? Yeah, 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 Lancashire. Good. OK, so you got that off your chest. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, Steve, who's on the Wirral. No, Warsaw. Is he? Yeah. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Uh, I need new glasses. Used to be a great market down Warsaw. Yeah. Uh -huh. Steve, what can we do for you? Hello, James. Hello, Ash. All right, man. Oh, it's about these markets, what have been going on recently, and a lot more going to go, are going to happen. Yeah. yeah. All these people are anarchists. And all they want to see is an excuse mm. to undermine the laws of the country, the politics, yeah. and people's ways of life. Without a doubt, I think, in some cases, you're right, but I think the vast majority of people who go on these marches are just a little bit thick. You know, because if they think, and that, uh, some idiot we threw out the programme the other day who I hear has been on since, not yeah. on this yeah. show, he won't come on this one again. No. Um, uh, who accuses anybody who doesn't support Gaza oh, he blabbers on about the as uh, being genocide yeah. enabled? Uh, yeah. well, it's a hodgepodge of Islamists. There's, like you say, the anarchist sort of Marxist, and then there's <laughs> the useful thick idiots <laughs> who sort of go, like it's a fashion. Not with to the mention the extreme right hair. wing, of course, who are still. Well, they're not really. There's hardly any of them goes on about the yeah, far right. They're, they're just getting, a couple they're, of little blokes. They're getting more. Involved. Well, that's what will happen if yeah. this government have been, have been yeah. doing anything. Yeah, so down, listen, I it? agree with you, Stevie. I think you're right. I think these people go on these marches. Yeah. Not one single sane, normal person wants to see any more innocent men, women or children slaughtered. That in Warsaw well, Council... No, uh, no, I saw it in Warsaw Council chamber. That got hijacked by, you know, Gaza protesters, didn't yeah. it? I saw it on YouTube. Well, there we are. Look, look. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what Warsaw... Netanyahu won't listen to Warsaw. Yeah, but look what they, uh, in the recent uh, by-election with our good friend George... Yeah, I mean, it was a disgrace. I mean, he got up and said, this is a win for Gaza. Yeah. You know. You've got to hand it to him. He doubled the number of postal votes, nearly. He did, apparently, yeah. But it was that, an under 50% of the population no, no. turned out turned yeah. out to uh, to actually uh, vote, so it's not really much... Well, you're, you're talking about that, man. How, how low have you got a stoop? Steve, thank you very well, much, Well, he's about indeed. five foot nine, so um, not like that. James... Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, does James think of, of what does James think of George Galloway? And did he ever go drinking with just him? Andrew from Salisbury? I have had a pint with George. He used to work here. 
I don't think and he drinks anymore, does he? I don't think he does. Uh, uh, no. And when, he, when there are no cameras there and microphones, oh, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's... He puts the leotard on. He's and completely he's totally fine. Relaxed, he just yeah. gets down on hands and knees and licks your hands and says, I'm a Laps pussy. milk up, yeah. And, and very nice he is too. Uh, Sarah in London, you're on the air. Hello, Sarah. Hello, hello, James. And, um, I, I'm, I'm not young, and I'm, like a lot of people, um, no, very, quite depressed and upset by the state of the country. But I'd just like to make two points. I was in education for many years, and I saw that the way children were treated by, you know, they couldn't do anything wrong. They got stickers mm. for being kind or for being, having the right clothes on, mm. stickers for everything. There was no such thing as failure. Mm. And I think we've raised a generation who can't cope with failure. When they got rid of capital punishments at schools, that's when it all went pear-shaped in the <laughs> yeah. 80s. Well, I, I had it when I was, I was at school in Scotland. We had capital punishments. Yes. Not capital, we Me had too. punishments. Me too. The, other, the other thing I would comment on, where is leadership these days? Not only in government and the NHS and in teaching, there's no leadership. Everyone's, everybody in, in charge wants to be everybody's They're friend. covering up for each they other, aren't they? Decisions. They won't but do what's right for their organisation yeah. or the country. Because no one they name is responsible, friend. that's but why. No one, you on, can't hang pinpoint on, hang it. On, hang on. The fact is, you're absolutely right. But also, I think the Prime Minister this week made a great speech when he came oh, out I and made so it. I was Im so impressed. I wish, I wish he'd done that. That's the first... Excellent Prime Minister's yeah. speech. But I've will it be backed years. up by actions? I, I, I was That's almost exactly reduced to tears. You know what I mean? Everything he says doesn't happen, so this is yeah. a test. If it's backed up, well done. The police need to uh, be if a he, force. If he carries it out, yeah. I shall be I, nothing but praise for him. But I was really moved by it, I must say. I've heard nothing like that for many, many years. It was a good speech, wasn't it? No, it Sarah. Was. Mo absolutely From right, the head and boy. I'm so glad you brought that up. I was going to talk about that later. Uh, Sarah, nice to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. If you want to join us online, uh, it's. Uh, at, what? What, online? Oh, at the James Whale at Virtual Ash. You can see our short movie yeah. there that we do before the show. And We're give on us a X. ring. 03444991000. Text us at 87222 oh, and start the word with talk. talk, talk me. Now stop You can WhatsApp us on this mm. number now as well. And, uh, could you tell it? Because everybody listening on talk radio will wonder what the friggin' hell you're doing. I'm pointing, um, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. They don't know. Yeah. What they don't know can't harm them. Susan. All right, don't shout in my ear, Chuck. I'm, I'm putting you on uh, probation Remand. for the rest of the show. Uh, Susan, yes, you're on the air. Oh, very good evening, James. I'm so pleased you're standing well and feisty. I'm terribly sorry about your little girls. I'm, I'm very sorry you've lost your little girls, darling. Well, one was, uh, one, one was a girl and one, well, Mutty... Uh, as a, was a man, he used to remind me of Winston Churchill. He looked really mm. like Winston. And he had that lift. I, yeah. I, th I thought you had two little girls, darling. I'm sorry. You've I've got, got another one, haven't you? I, I have. I had three dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Fanny Boo Boo. Uh, no. Mutty. Lulu. Lulu. Mutty and Daisy. Well, yeah. well, darling, you could always adopt. You know. You well, use, he already uh, did that. Foster, foster. You could foster. Um, That's the yeah, word rent a dog. I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking of anything like that at the moment. It's, all right, you know. darling, all right. Anyway, right. I understand. Now, darling, what it is, the country's in such a mess, whoever gets in power will never be able to bloody well sort it out. That's my thinking, darling. Everything's gone down the spout. Well, that's very Everything's... depressing and not mm. the positive yeah. thought that I wish to put out a positive vibe Why now. aren't you being positive, Susan? Let's all think positively now. Think well, positively. I would like, I, I, I Shut would up like and think positively. The, the police think. don't want to do anything. They've the been police, told not to get involved. The involved. police are now going they're to scared. do what they can. Outside the studios tonight, there are oh. hundreds of policemen. Probably a few policemen. Well, these are the tough guys because yeah. they're expecting Millwall fans. Yes. <laughs> so they have got the proper ones when they need them. Uh, yeah. What are they there for, darling? Millwall fans. Phil Football supporters. Football um, but I don't think anybody shouting out from the sea or kill the Jews will no. be allowed to get away with it anymore. No. And I wish those people, the, the, the young ones who march along with these, you know, uh, success to Palestine and everything else, would actually think a little more sensibly. They're being drawn in to the most just ridiculous to, uh, stupidity just to, to, to I've to ever end heard. On a, to end on a cheerful note, I've adopted a little boy. Um, a little boy dog, and he's he's absolutely wonderful. We go sure. to bed together. Right. We, Thank we you, Susan. Thank you, you, Susan. Bye bye, Susan. Tony's in Norwich. Want to squeeze you in, Tony, before the break. Tony, good evening. Oh yeah. Are you are you, are you aware that Cam that the leader of the Labour Party made the parents on Fancy Football League this week? No. Why would I be interested? I can't stand football. What happened on it? 
because what because what annoyed me is he hasn't got a time to run the country well. Now it's not his own party, but he's got a time to repair on for like a program like Fantasy Football League. You are stupid. Do you know that? I bet he was indecisive on it. No, no, well. he well, fancy know. ringing up a national TV show. You know, he... he's allowed time off. He's allowed to do other stuff. How was he as a football manager? Did he oh, flip flop between up. players? Go, go on. to the I break. don't like him building Take the a break. better Britain. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Right, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman. Trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. Now, you might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <miss him. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the fourth blimp. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I know it's I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. So he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So anyway, <laughs> just, 40 yeah. minutes, 40. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist did to, fail her. Yeah, we're we're supposed to it was another era. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. OK, right, welcome back. Oh, I've got to put my earpiece in. Um, there's uh, a little text that came flooding in. says, uh, don't... Do you get your phone-ins from the asylum? Eh? Flipping well, no, rude. they get priority, though. Uh, who's vetting them? Me, on air. The asylum. Uh, understand... I can't understand any of them. Well, you need to listen more clearly. That's yeah. all you need to do. So we'll go back to the calls. Thank you for keeping them coming in. We'll put you on the list. We'll get you on the air as soon as we can. Uh, now, Mohammed Amin is former chairman of the uh, Conservative Muslim Forum. Former chairman, I believe. That's right. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the programme. And uh, although he just did tell me and threw me, he said, I'm more of a Liberal Democrat now. Good evening. But good evening right, to you, yeah. sir. Right. Um, first of all, why, why did the Conservative Party, or does it, need a Muslim Forum? Because the Conservative Party wants to encourage Muslims to vote for it, just as it wants to encourage people of all communities to mm. vote for it, and setting up interest groups is a natural way of doing that. Do you think after the vote in Rochdale, do you think that, that um, uh, Muslim parts of the Muslim community are far more interested in voting than others? Uh, it varies. Historically, 
turnout amongst Muslims at elections has been a little bit lower than the white British population, but it has been going up. Also, it's always been true that Muslims, because many of them have, I mean, some are converts, of course, yeah. but many of them have connections with overseas countries. For example, I was born in Pakistan. Mm. And so foreign policy is often of more relevance to Muslim voters than to white British voters. But you know, like we, we see in elections in Pakistan, it gets quite tasty, doesn't it, there with violence and stuff. And that, that's sort of coming a bit over here. Can you see any of that? Not really. With the by-election, it was a bit... I mean, uh, the passions were, I understand, quite high in Rochdale. I didn't set foot in Rochdale myself, but mm. People are very concerned about what's happening in Gaza, understandably. Yeah, but there were well, threats. Understandably, yeah. but if I get another idiot suggesting to me that I'm a genocide uh, enabler, I'm going to get very angry. And that the people wouldn't like me if I get angry. I hear myself getting angry now. Um, this is not the way we behave in this country. What we don't want is to lose, and I think you would agree, if you were in Pakistan, you don't want to lose the culture and the way your country is. But we seem to have a minority at the moment trying their hardest to take over. I agree, but it is a very small minority. I agree Most with you. Muslims They've got a loud different... voice, though, haven't they? Yeah. Every Saturday, I mean, we see. Well, they have a loud voice, and, of course, it suits certain parts of the media to put them on because they make good television or good mm. newspaper copy. Well, when you've got, you know, these sort of uh, issues to talk about and people would rather phone in to a programme like this or talk about it online or whatever than they would vote. I'm, I'm thinking along the lines now that we ought to have compulsory voting in this country and we have to be very careful that nobody is abusing the way voting is being carried out. I mean, for instance, if I had, if I had put something as rude as from the river to the sea and, and shot it on Parliament, I probably would have been tracked down and prosecuted. Well, I understand that, I didn't know this actually, that projecting things on public buildings apparently is an offence. I didn't know that. Since they put Gail Porter on naked in the uh, in the 90s, they made an actual specific law for it. But I mean, what, what about well, the phrase from the river to the sea? I mean, what's your view? The Prime Minister yeah. says it's genocidal, it's a trope, and the police come out and go, oh, well, it, you know, a crowd can say it depends on the context, like the Harvard University. What, what, do you, what do you think about... Well, uh, the phrase from the river to the sea does depend on its context. For example, it's used in the charter of the Likud political party in Israel. They're obviously not using it with genocide. Yeah, but it originally it comes from clearing the Jews out in a, in a genocide and pushing them into it the sea. It is the most offensive thing you could say. I mean, let's not, let's not beat about the bush. Let's not be nice about it. From the river to the sea, shouted by the people who are shouting it, echoed by the mindless morons who are the majority of the marches, don't even know what they're talking about, haven't even got a clue as to what happened around the, uh, I'm quite old, uh, around the... Uh, founding, if you like, of Israel and how all of that happened. It is saying we want to get rid of Israel, we want our country back, and uh, that's what we're going to do. So it's really promoting genocide. If somebody is using it to talk about genocide, if somebody is using it to say we want to expel Jews from Israel, then that's clearly wrong. But that is not the way that everybody uses that. Are you yeah, but that's sort just of a minute. That, that's sort, you, that's sort of irrelevant, minute. though, just isn't it? Minute. That's irrelevant, because there is a section of the community, the Jewish community, quiet, that, that say quiet, it is quiet. that. So why are you carrying quiet. on with it when you know quiet, the Jewish quiet, community quiet. finds it I offensive. didn't know you were a mind reader, because you can't tell what's in somebody's mind when they shout out this appalling thing. And, and so the, let's make it clear. If the law doesn't make it clear, change the bloody law, because calling from the river to the sea by these idiots who are going out much, you must agree. You can't tell what's in their mind or how they're saying it. Most crimes in this country, with a few exceptions, for example, parking on a double yellow line, nobody cares about intent. It's quite clear. If you park on a double yellow line, that's an offence. Well, it is. But most crimes in this country do depend upon in intent. The difference between murder and manslaughter is one of intent. You can't and shout out a racist a word and say, oh, no, I was saying uh, it, was, it was the Latin word supposing, I was using. Yeah, supposing there was a march of people and some people were shouting it out, kill the Pakistanis, get them out of our country, let's get rid of every Muslim in this country, we don't need this, because all Muslims want to do is take over the world and make everybody uh, take up their religion. I am secular. I don't like any religion. They're all ridiculous in my mind. If we were to do that, 
if I'll go on a march and shout out, send the Pakistanis home or something even worse, we'd be in so much trouble. Yes, you would. And the, Why, intent, the intent of that phrase is quite clear. The intent of the phrase from the river to I'm the sea... I'm not going to sit here and argue know, with you like you're a, a lawyer. That is complete rubbish. Do you think jihad can mean like a, a contemplation sort of rather than war when they're waging jihad in those marches? Or do you think that also depends on what they're thinking inside? If they are using the word jihad to call for people to go and fight against Israel, I think that is wrong. But that's what they, do you think that's what they're doing on the protests? And what do or you, are some yeah. people thinking of it as some what, other way? What do you think yeah. about the behaviour of those people uh, that have now meant that a school teacher has had to hide away for three years, a school has been closed down because the uh, Muslim parents... Uh, threaten the head teacher. What would you say to those people? I've looked at that situation in Batley in a great de detail through the media. I've read about it because I'm very interested. I believe strongly there should be no blasphemy laws. I think the behaviour of the people concerned is mm. utterly deplorable. The teacher actually did everything right. He warned his pupils in advance what he was going to show them. He explained why he was going to show them show it to them. He also gave them every opportunity to not watch it if they didn't want to because he wanted to have a discussion and instead he has been in fear of his life and that is utterly disgraceful. So what would you say to those people who follow Islam? And the people who follow Islam, the, the serious ones, um, want to see this country converted to Islam. They would like to see uh, Sharia law brought in where it can. We can't allow that. Yet our police and a lot of our politicians are too scared to put their foot down and say, no, and what's going to happen? This is what worries me, Mohammed. What worries me is this is just going to bring up the nastiness of the extreme right. Well, first of all, you said that people who follow Islam seriously want to impose Sharia law on everybody else. Is that what you said? I think that's no, what extremist. I said. Extremists. Well, extremists no, no. extremists and Islamist. those who want to change this country from... I believe we're a secular country. You can follow any religion you like. I would like to see the bishops out of the House of Lords and I would like to see religion move down with the, the, the sort of power that it has and the power that it's trying to have. There is a small extremist minority that does want to impose Sharia law on other people. The overwhelming majority of Muslims disagree with them. I strongly disagree with them. I believe that everybody has freedom to practice their religion. Would I like you two and other people to convert to Islam? Yes, I would, because I think it's the best religion. In the same way that a Christian would like you to convert to Christianity and a Mormon Just would like you to convert to Mormonism. But do I want to impose it on you? No, I don't. No, but why do you want me to think about converting to Islam? I think, listen, I think religion is a ridiculous, stupid idea where people who are frightened of dying, now I'm terminally ill, so uh, I'm not frightened of dying at all, and some people wish it would happen sooner rather than later, I know. Um, and it doesn't bother me at all. But if I was to say I think that the, uh, the, the Islamic religion uh, that, that preaches, like all religions actually, preaches quite a bit of nastiness um, as well, was worth taking notice of. I don't. Mm. But you, you can pray and do whatever you want mm. um, without it getting in the way of normal secular life. So can the Christians and the Hindus and Buddhists and whoever mm. else. But you cannot get in the way of the normal law of the land, which is what some people want to do. And I agree with you. So why is it important for you to even say, yes, I would quite like you to convert to Islam? Because I think Islam is the best way of life. I don't think you would be a happier person if you were a Muslim. I can assure you I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact is that, you, you know, apparently you have the right to do certain things in Islam. God gave you the right. You don't even know if there's a God, do you? Let's be honest. If I was very rude about um, uh, Allah or whatever it is, I'd have death threats galore. If I said something rude about Jesus Christ, nobody would actually notice. Threatening you would be entirely wrong, in my view. I, I, mm. I, I, I'm utterly clear on this point. There should never be a blasphemy law anywhere. Mm. But you say there's a minority. How big is the minority? Is it thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands? I don't have statistical so surveys. You don't actually but, know, do you? But no. it seems like there's a lot. Uh, I don't think so. You don't see all the... I've seen, I haven't seen any evidence. So how many do you think? Do you Hundreds think, or what? Sorry, do well, you even a few hundred people, yeah. of course, can create yeah. an enormous... Well, we've got Hamas leaders living here and people arranging it from, you know, links to that, to, to that organisation. How, how is so, your yeah. view on Hamas? Do you believe they're terrorists? 
I believe the Hamas are terrorists. I wrote in 2014, it's there on my website, it's mm. an article originally on the Conservative Home website. I've written over 70 pieces for Conservative Home for Paul Goodman. Mm. I said that Hamas are basically awful people and they are seriously harming Palestinian interests. Mm. Mm. Um, what can be done? Final question. What can be done to sort this ridiculous mess out where uh, 100,000 or so people go on the streets each weekend uh, shouting out all kinds of uh, hatred? You know, we did have kill the Jews at one point. That was a regular thing. Uh, not only that, they're pretty rude to the people who are, they're passing in the streets. It's not a very... It's not a very fair religion is it? it it doesn't seem to treat people who are not believers the protests very well. aren't really you know it's quite they're quite well, violent you, aren't they the, the protests as far I, i've never been on any of these protests mm. but as mm. far as i'm aware from the media these protests are overwhelmingly peaceful no, uh, they don't look it when you look at it. Uh, they look they're it. noisy. Uh, if, if if people are breaking the law, they yeah. But if a prosecuted. Jewish guy goes and they'll all sort of round upon him. If there was a Iranian guy the other day and he said a Hamas terrorist, they're throwing things at him. And the police arrested hang, the hang guy on. just having his freedom of speech. Why? Why are people like Ash, who's Jewish, and living in a, a Jewish area of London? Why are they so scared? Why are they worried about sending their children to school? I mean, it well, just makes me think they, that Islam is one of the worst religions you could ever have. Unfortunately, there's been a big increase in anti-Semitism since the 7th of October. Most, uh, most of that is actually not coming numerically from Muslims. The 7th oh, of really? October... Where's it coming from? It's coming from white British far-right people. You're sure people. about that? You're sure Remember, about Muslims that? are 6.5% uh, of the population. I know. I don't think you're right with that. 94% of the population in this country... So you're saying it's far-right white people having a go at Jews, is it? Yes. No, that's not no, true. It's not rubbish. It's, it's not rubbish. 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 I mean, the fact, the, fact, the fact is that that isn't acceptable. Are you scared of the extremists? Have you been threatened? No, I've not been threatened. But why do they go around threatening so many people? And when they're on these marches, the vast majority, I would imagine, are students who aren't religious in any way, shape or form, but think they're doing something good. They're just a little misguided by certain parts of the media and the academic world who seem to have this kind of lib lab flim flab view on everything and we need in this country to start taking life more seriously we need to say to somebody who wants to walk around saying from the river to the sea i don't care what you think you mean you're getting locked up mate and if anybody carries on in this way let's curtail all religions from having so much power you can have a church or a mosque, but only a couple here and there. Well, first of all, we have a tradition of freedom in this country. Well, we're not. We're having it taken away by all these people who yeah. are going it's around It's been taken saying, advantage of, hasn't yeah. it? That's the thing. Uh, I don't agree with you on that. Mm. Well, agree to disagree. I mean, that, you don't think that, that these people who are marching, blocking streets, shouting abuse at people... In the by-election, threatening to rape people's wives and burn their offices down... People who do that should be prosecuted. Well, that's how the Rochdale by-election, that's what occurred in it. Uh, Simon Dunship got threatened with lots of people. It was, lots, it was crazy, wasn't it? Well, what action have the police taken? They need to take action. Yeah, they they don't probably do they say what you've they're said. They're enabled. They're you know, enablers. Because the people who are leading the police in this country are useless, so I've already told them. Yeah. And what the Prime Minister, who I think made a really good speech outside number 10 the other day, I think it was an excellent speech. Let's hope now something is going to come from it. Because I think we're in trouble. We, we are the, one of the most peaceful countries in the world. That's why everybody comes here, and everybody comes here from other countries. And says, oh, we don't like it, really. We don't like what you do. Well, bugger off. Don't stay here. Mm. And what's an ep choosing an MP got to do with Gaza when there's local issues going on and everyone's just basing it on Gaza and, and that's what happens with George Galloway again? Mm. What's the point in that? People are free to vote based yeah, but, upon the things that are important to them. Yeah, but it's skewed the democratic system, hasn't it? Because it's a pointless thing they're doing, you know, for, I mean, for I an MP. I don't have I mean, they're any protesting sympathy. council meetings in Chorley. I don't have any sympathy for George Galloway. I'm a Liberal Democrat. I, no. I think George Galloway is, frankly, a bit of an idiot. But if people want to vote for him, that is their right in a free country. Well, and that's the trouble, isn't it? But the problem Maybe is, 60% of the people in that region didn't vote. And so if you are able to uh, motivate a minority, you are actually going to be able to take over the freedoms we have in this country. And if we were governed by an Islamic view, we'd have 
break all freedoms. Earlier on, you said we should have compulsory voting in this country. Well, you should, yeah. I, I agree with you. Yeah. They have that in Australia. Yeah, absolutely. And it would ensure that everybody's voice was heard. So I have no, no problems on, on that with that at all. Mohamed, thank you for coming in. You uh, Hopefully, common sense will prevail. That's what worries me, that it's getting taken over by a minority. I am confident that common sense will prevail. Brilliant. Well, we'll talk again when it does. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Mohammed Amin, former chairman of the Conservative Muslim Forum, will be back after this. A hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Right, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman. Trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. I might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight-pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, missing. There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the fourth plinth. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. So he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So anyway, <laughs> just... <laughs> Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family, and if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist did to, fail her. Yeah, it was, supposed to it was another era. That. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Uh, right, good evening. Welcome back to uh, Unleashed. That's me, and Unhinged, that's him. Uh, tonight, live until 10. Yeah. You're supposed to then say something. You never... 03444991000 if you want to get us, uh, Twitter us at virtual ash at the James Whale at Talk TV. That was good. Uh, thanks, man. That was good. Um, now, the team behind, not this team, uh, the team behind the shambolic Willy Wonka event in Glasgow, have you see, you've probably read about it or seen about it, heard about it, have finally said they're sorry to families, and so they bloody well should be. Mums and dads paid £35 a ticket hoping their kids would have fun in the magical world. £35 each, you have a couple of kids, that's 70 quid. Uh, what they found was an empty warehouse, cheap-looking props, kids got just one jelly bean and half a glass of lemonade. Have a look at this. Run Vita. But what they actually gave them when they got there was something rather different. Because what we can see here uh, is a, bit like <laughs> a warehouse full of some plasticky toys, that right? Is the best. Now, this cost 35 quid. 
for parents to bring Why? one child, right? So if you had a couple of kids, you paid £70 for this. And that's one of the oompa loompas, <laughs> by the way. Is it? And, and one of the highlights or lowlights, depending on your point of view, uh, for the people who were hired to be at this Willy Wonka experience was that when they all arrived to dress up uh, for the part, the guy who had, uh, was named Billy Cool, who was the organiser... Billy Cool. C-O-U-L-L, -L, though, not... Yeah, not, suspicious. Yeah, very suspicious. Straight away. <laughs> um, they were the sexy versions of Oompa Loompas <laughs> that I bought from Ann Summers, <laughs> as opposed to... Um, from a normal, like, you know, <laughs> fancy <laughs> dress shop. OK, so, now you're selling it to yeah, me, Mike. <laughs> yeah, but this is for children, remember? Oh, OK. Um, <laughs> and so parents were there literally seconds before they started to, you know, demand their money back. Oh. <laughs> Now, we're joined by uh, Kirsty Patterson, uh, who was the Oompa Loompa you saw there, um, who had nothing to do with the arranging of this, has uh, not been paid, uh, and feels quite embarrassed about her part in it. But that yeah. little f uh, picture of her went viral this week on social media. Uh, Kirsty, good evening. Hi there, how are you? <laughs> uh, I'm very good, Kirsty. Now, you're, you're starting off your life as an actress, am I right? So I do fire performing and I also have like a kind of more serious job as well. But um, I've kind of always done children's entertainment and acting is kind of on the side. Um, mm. Something I'm really passionate about. Um, I just never thought anything like this week's been absolutely wild. Um, <laughs> never expected <laughs> this to happen. Um, well, make That's the most of it. It's a, it's a great you yeah, know, little awesome. promotion yeah, for you. Springboard. Um, have, the yeah. bosses, have the bosses talked to you about it? Have they said what they're going to do? No, I've not heard anything from them. Um, are you talking about the organizers? Yeah, yeah, the organizers who owe you money. Um, no, we don't. We've not even spoke to them. Um, they've not spoke to us at all. Uh, the whole thing is just wild. Um, what did you think? Been... Sorry, Kirsty, to butt in, but what did you think when you turned up on the day of that show? What, what was going through your mind? Right. So the Friday was the rehearsals, and hmm. by this point, I signed the contract. Um, so I went in the room. Looked awful. We had like a mushroom in the corner and a random bit. Of we're looking at you now being an Oompa Loompa. Yeah. What about when you got the yeah. outfit? Did you like the Oompa Loompa outfit? Can we just stick to the sensible serious side well, for a moment? Is, you know, that's part no, of it, isn't no, it? No, yeah. It I doesn't mean, look like an Oompa Loompa outfit to me. No. What was it one of the guys on uh, Plank said? Looked more like something from yeah. Ann Summers. And they were they had orange faces, the yeah. Oompa Loompas. Um, so, to be honest, so they asked us about... I asked the Freddy, like, what about the costumes? And they were yeah. just like... Because um, I'm assuming the amount that they've spent on paying us and also the amount of charging on tickets, this is going to be a big... Yeah. They've Amazing, yeah. ...had to mine of the year, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So when we got... Um, what was it, was it the question? When we got the costumes, mm, yeah. um, I asked, what, 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 what do you... I just assumed there'd be makeup and there'd be someone really yeah. dressing us up. Because we're meant to be... Uh, big character you know yeah. so when we when they handed us um honestly the, they must have only costed a pound they were like from poundland or somewhere like that <laughs> and they no no joke they actually were and then they said like so i went to go and try this on and i just thought do i do this to myself Kirsty, or do i not um but yeah i do agree they were slightly more on the um, and summers. Kind of yeah. It suits you, yeah. though. I mean, yeah. how, how many yeah. people? How many people did turn up? Uh, uh, you know, on average, what you look you very sad in that picture, by the way. See, right. See the moment that picture was took. Um, I think I was just angry for everyone, and it was just it was really embarrassing for myself. And by that point, everyone walked off, and I was there myself. But um, I just was. It Wanting to hand the jelly beans out and keeping the one each, happy. one jelly bean each, really. So the, the je that's the jelly bean room. So the jelly beans actually ran out. So I went to go and get more, and they went ration more to jelly beans. I said, "I'm only giving them two jelly beans. How am I supposed to ration them to one?" Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So the kids were crying. Were kids crying and that, and were disappointed? Kids were crying. Um, did you feel? Were... Did you feel threatened at any time by uh, kids? Some of the people who come in and realise they were you being. Know, completely ripped off do you know what one thing i can say everyone at the event was actually very respectful and lovely towards me 
despite the whole embarrassment going on, I can a can't actually say a bad thing about it. But were they coming up to you and going, this is terrible, this? Were they complaining to you? Or were they just going... They were just looking at me. I think they felt a lot of empathy towards yeah, me, I felt to be sorry honest. For you. Yeah, I, yeah. Think they knew, I think they knew I was trying my best, because I was trying my best. I really was. And the but... organisers had disappeared, had they? They weren't to be seen on the day. Um, they, are, they were there, yeah. They were oh, right. There. Weren't people complaining now, to them? Hang on. Billy Cool is apparently the... the spelt C-O-U-L-L -L for some strange reason, um, is the, the guy who organised it all, and you've not spoken to him since? No. Well, he's not, probably not returning I mean, was call, it, so. did an agent get you the job, or did you just get it yourself? So I applied for it on, like, an online kind of ah. stream. Yeah. And um, it was well paid, and I just yeah, I thought, know. why not? I and was going to do it. A, I know. He'd I think, make a great oompa fun. loompa. Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> but I just kind of like when I get a character, I just throw myself <laughs> into it, whether it's what? a yeah. oompa loompa or like a five, like a five perform as well. So it's just whether I'm trying to be that mm. character as well. So yeah, I, I was not. I'm not shy of. No, I, I can tell. Were you were you surprised when you found yourself uh, a topic on lots of late night TV shows? Yeah, in you've America? gone viral. That picture's gone viral around the world. I know. Can I be honest with you? I was a bit overwhelmed with everything, so I turned my phone off for two days. Mm. <laughs> mm. Did a lot of people? Was it? Sorry, was it was it a busy the place? No, nobody hardly went. I mean, how much money do you think they made? I mean, did a thousand people over it go? I mean. I, can, I worked it out myself, and it was probably each person that went through it must have been about 500. So that's 20-odd grand they've made. About 20 yeah, grand, 20. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. And he's not paid anyone, so they've uh, 10 grand each. Nice work. You, you've yeah, not been I, paid, have you? So. Well, we have asked that question. I know, I'm just confirming it. Yeah. So. But and now... Now you must be quite sought after. Do you know what? Right now, I've just kind of been a bit overwhelmed with everything. So what I'm doing now is just kind of sorting out my platforms now to mm. just kind of get myself out there. But I am... Yeah. I'm just embracing it. What else can I do? Like, it was very... I felt a wee bit embarrassed at the start and it was a wee bit overwhelming because it is such an awful picture and, as you can tell, I don't actually look like that. Um, I was kind of <laughs> focusing more on Nexus. But now you know what? Let's, let's make... Milk it, yeah, milk it. Oprah you, Winfrey might be trying to ring you. Oprah. You go for it, you yeah. go for it. How can people find out more about you? Um, so, how you find out more about me, and my Twitter is going to be up tonight, <laughs> eventually, um, and my Instagram as well, and my TikTok. Yeah. What, are what are they called? What are they called? Kirsty. Kirsty Patterson. So, oh. bear with me, I'm going to put it up. Yeah. Um, you don't even... So, it's going... No, it's just because I've had to work with someone today to sort it all out. Um, yeah. So I'm just trying to think about it. It's just all being overwhelming. So uh, what's it called? Um, well, Google. Can you caption it below? Yeah. If you caption it below for me later. Yeah, we'll put it out later for you, Kirsty. Right, yeah. amazing. It's just because it's not. I've had to get right. someone in to sort it You're all out. You're all over. For Come me, with so. the, the, you know, with the. Listen, somebody will want you. Here's an idea to start off with. Start doing your own podcast once a week, right? Yeah. Right, OK. Dead easy. You can record it on your phone and stick it out there. Hold on, I'm going to get a great question from the producer. OK. So, Willy Wonka, the biggest movie this year, apparently. It's going to be a big sequel. Yeah. It's called Wonka. Would you like to be in the sequel? Oh, my gosh, yeah. Well, we're not, we haven't found anything. We're well, hang on, we'll, we, we'll see what we You got her excited there. What would you like yeah. to play, an Oompa Loompa or something else? Well, she's got the outfit already. <laughs> I, lo I love a bit of quirkiness, me, but um, I'd, honestly, I would love to be part of any production or anything that comes mm. off this. And also, I can vouch for the other other actors involved as well. Like The other Oompa Loompas. We really are, actually, all I really are a talented bunch of people and we do really do deserve... Right. I mean, can we actually do it? It's really yeah. hard to be we're, out in the industry. We are going to post all that when we get it from you on social media and yeah. probably put a couple of clips of this chat up. And uh, hopefully when you get a big starring role, 
in Hollywood, you won't forget us, and you'll come on and do an interview. Oh, I 110 percent well. Brilliant. Did you have a song to sing? Yeah, do you know the Umpa Lumpa song? Oh, come on, let's all do it together. I'm not doing it. Okay. Why not? We do. We've got another. Come on, let's hear you, Kirsty. Come on, John. Umpa, Umpa, Zippity. Umpa, Lumpa, this is you too. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I am a fussy. Lumpa, this is you too. Kirsty, no. sing along. You ruin everything. Otherwise, we're going to be. You're ruining like... your tone, Jeff. You're ruining. You always ruin. I, I, I can't sing. I don't even want to sing. But Kirsty, let's sing me out of this part of the program. Oh gosh, I, I actually, I actually don't know all the words off my heart for the Oompa Loompa, but what, uh, sing, sing oh. me the oh, no. uh, chorus. Do you know the chorus? Well, there isn't really. There isn't there? No, umpa dumpa dibbidi do is the chorus. Umpa dumpa dibbidi do. Dumpa dibbidi do. Dumpa dibbidi do. We'll just do this again. We go, go do it. And shut him up. You do it, Kirsty. Go, you do it. Away you go. Uh, umpa umpa dibbidi do. <laughs> Look out for Kirsty on social media and maybe in the movies. Who knows? Uh, Kirsty. Who knows? Thank you very much indeed. Uh, we're going to take a break for the news at eight. She didn't even learn the words. And. For it. <laughs> We will then be back, and when we come back, we'll be talking about such things as uh, Rishi Sunak, uh, NHS strikes that have caused a lot of problems but not made much news, and the struggling Royal Mail. This, my friends, is Talk Today with me, Jeremy Kyle. And me, Nicola Thorpe. This is Talk TV. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Right, oi, oi, treat go. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman is not a woman, a trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. Now, you might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <miss him. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the fourth blimp. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I know it's I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. So he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. That's quite a small statue then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, 
had lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think but, like, the feminist did to, fail her. Yeah, we're we're supposed to it was another era. That. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. This is Talk TV. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. <laughs> Illness helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> Three, two, one. Uh, go ground. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Look, I'm getting ready for my new primetime show on Talk TV and Radio, 7 o'clock Saturday night, James Whale Unleash. I don't need you coming in here, following me around with a cow. I'm so sorry about this. Saturdays at 7 on Talk TV. Uh, right, I'm feeling slightly blubberish myself for you tonight. The blowhole yeah. of baloney. Thank you very much. Right the James Whale Show Unleashed tonight. Thank you. You bring the coffee Pass. in just at the beginning of the show. Sack him. He can go. There. Put that somewhere safe. Uh, right, welcome to the programme. You want to call us 0344 499 1000. Uh, Lizzie Cundy, it might be her last night she's here late again. on the James Well Show. She'll make up something. Yeah, she's, she's always stuck in, in traffic because of Jerry yeah. Halliwell. Yeah, I don't care what her reason is. She's often late. And tonight, uh, she's late. And I'm well, not is Jerry Halliwell protesting in the street about her husband? Is I don't know. Happening? I don't know. Uh, Gary is in Dumfries and Galloway. Da, now you're on the air. Speak to the nation. In fact, Gary, here on Talk, you can uh, speak to the world. What can we do for you? Hello, James. How are you? If another person asks me how I am, you're fired. Oh, I don't yeah. know where I got that from. It's just a couple of quick points, please, James. Go on. Firstly, the Rochdale by-election. Yeah. Um, the most dangerous place to be in politics is between George Galloway and a bandwagon. Well, you're in Galloway. That wasn't really I funny. Know I, I know you've been trying to, to make, but, you know, George, bless his cotton socks. George wants to be famous. You know, he likes so celebrity. That's, celebrity. That's why uh, he uh, he hangs around on, or hang, hung around on celebrity shows. I think it will liven Parliament up and get, maybe it'll make people take this problem we've been talking about for ages seriously. James, on Monday morning, George Galloway will go down to Westminster, and that's the last time we'll set foot in Rochdale. The people have been used. Well, in Rochdale maybe the maybe right the now. people of Rochdale should have gone out and voted. Absolutely correct. 100%. 100% agree with you. And, um, I mean, that's a problem in Scotland, not wishing to uh, be rude, but in Scotland, the uh, SNP... It's been hijacked, Scotland. Everything's gone to pot because you're just a one-issue uh, party yeah. now. All they do in Parliament is try and slag off the Prime Minister and everybody else. Yeah. They, they don't and do the anything. the country's falling apart. Your hospitals, your education, yeah. crime. It was all sorted a few years ago, and they've ruined everything up there. Well, James, I'm glad you asked that because I voted SNP didn't. every election in 1987 and I'll never vote for them again, ever. Mm. Uh, local elections, I'll, I'll always vote for them, but the last five, six years, we became like a Scottish North Korea. So who are you going to vote for then? So I'm not voting for them again, never again. Who, who will you vote for? Well, it, it, this is like a Damascian, um conversion. I'm like, Paul, I might vote for Reform or I might vote for Albert, Alex Salmond. One but of the two. I'm the, not voting for the rest of them. The one, thing, the one thing you have to promise me is that you will vote. I'll definitely vote, yeah. Because a lot of people in Scotland have said, well, I'm not voting this for the Tories, I'm not voting for Labour. No. Uh, and a so lot they, of people saying that here. Everybody yeah, I know. Saying it. I know. But then they think, well, I, I just won't bother to, to vote. vote. Yeah. You have to vote. People are disenfranchised. Yeah. I like Alex Salmond, and mm. I might possibly vote the form. And the other point I'd like to make, if I could, I watched Trish Sunak's uh, statement last night on the, on the TV. Yeah. And um, that man can talk for hours and say absolutely nothing. Well, I he said a good. lot. No, he said a lot. And if he does stick by what he said, yeah. then that will be one of the best uh, prime ministerial... But he never uh, has before. ...speeches never I've heard. 
I was trying to see in there a proposal or some sort of action they're going to take. Yeah, you know, well, he's like, told the police to uh, act. Right. He's told other people yes. not to allow uh, these uh, minority. We are so worried in this um, in this country. Thank you, by the way, Gary, for that very good point. We worry so much in this country, don't we, uh, about offending minorities. That's why we've got this problem. Why, you know, why shouldn't we offend? As long as you don't libel somebody. That's the thing. People are very weak, you aren't know, they? That's what's happening. Weak as bloody Politicians whatever. Are weak, the police are weak. I mean, it's just woke. you know, the, everything's the, been captured. You can't upset somebody if you misgender them. Yes, you can. There are men and women, and I'm fed up men with that. Men have penises and I'm, women don't. Yeah. Um, oh, that's, did you say penis? Could, sorry, did I say penis? Yeah, you I can't should. believe that slipped it's out. It's peni. Peni, yeah. plural. Um, so the fact well, if is, you've got more than one. What what happens? Have then? you? Not at the moment. Okay. Um, don't you put that out on a clip. Uh, OK. I know. I'm just, I was thinking of something to say, and I'm just thinking over in my mind, should I say it? Not for the moment. Uh, Sue, good evening to you in Wiltshire. Hello, Sue. Hello, it's Sue from Wiltshire again. Did you say it's Susan from Wiltshire that again? Sue from Wiltshire? Well, I said it's Sue. It's Foo. Oh, Foo, yeah, you were called Foo last week, weren't were you? Oh, right, OK. <laughs> yeah, she got her yeah. name wrong. Hang on, hang on. No, F how do you... F-U. Um, that's not how you spell it. I was just ordering something. Can you just tell her, right, that's the last time where she goes? Right. No, she, she said Foo and she wrote down her Sue. Foo. It right, is her good. fault. Sorry, good. you're on the air. What do you want to say? Thank you. OK, hello, gentlemen. Yes. Are you fine? Which is great. Um, right, so I wanted to, come to make a comment about what's happening on our streets at the moment and also how it's being reported by the media, the mainstream media. Yeah. And this, was, this has caused me quite a lot of concern. Um, if you go to X, formerly known as Twitter, of course, you can see some very interesting videos. And I watched one today, and it actually been posted by um, an Iranian man who'd uh, actually come over here as a refugee and has been here for quite a while. And he went out, um, uh, I think it was this weekend, and, um, and he had a, a banner which was actually getting people to question whether they were backing Hamas. Yeah, I, I talked about this case earlier, mm. yeah. Yeah, and, and then he was set upon... We had him on the um, show not long... Was he the same guy we had on the show not long ago? I don't know if we ago. had him on, I can't remember, but they I threw stuff at him and arrested him. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. we had the guy on who, who was brought up in a fairly... Uh, do you remember? Uh, a Muslim yeah. house. We might have heard it. Oh, no, that was at Sahel, but we might yeah. have heard that guy. Yeah. I can't remember. He was yeah. on Mike Graham. Anyway, might have been on let's get to the point, Foo. What do you want to say about it? No, well, that was what I was saying. Is that when, so you're, one of your previous guests, as a chap who was in some way connected to the Conservative Party. And he would say, oh, no, they're just, they're just noisy and they're peaceful professors, uh, protesters. Well, that's not what I've been seeing. Yeah, well, he, he also said the yeah. anti-Semitic attacks are done yeah. by white far-right people. Oh, a load yeah. of but so, yeah. Hang on, Foo. The fact is they are a minority, whatever you say, because if everybody on those marches got nasty... Then there well, will be thousands big trouble. and thousands yeah. of this minority. Yeah. But uh, they need dealing with. You're absolutely right. Thank you, yeah. uh, Foo. Sandra's in Somerset. Sandra. Hello there. Hello. Hi, Sandra. Hello. I'd like to talk about the postal service, actually. Really, it's sh um, shocking. Isn't one it? pound sixty have... for a stamp or something, yeah. isn't it? One... Ah, but you. No, one eighty for first. Name. I have oh, just left the postal service. Yeah. Okay. And what's happening at the moment? I'm not sure whether you're aware, but there's a lot of fraudulent stamps. Yeah, they used to be, and now they've got that barcode system, haven't they? But there's real... At the moment, I've been working yeah. there, and poor old people, they're coming in to pick up their mail, and they're having to pay £5 yeah. to yeah. pick up their mail. So why, people, how many... Uh, you know, is it a big problem? I'm not you're sure. Getting, yeah. uh, at least, when I work a, a two-hour shift, yeah. you're going to at least three a day. And these are the new barcoded ones that they're now forging? Yeah. Because they used to forge the old ones and they would actually no, this work. Is the new ones. Yeah, yeah they the forge the old ones and that and works. What I'm cross about is the fact that I've sort of said to them, hold on, we need to find out where they're buying their fraudulent stamps from. Yeah. But I think that actually they don't, they're not interested because they're charging them £5 each time. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the police, it's, for, it's very serious. Well, forgery, something else, the head of the post office, you know, should be getting onto this, quite frankly. I think the post yes, office. And yeah, well, well, the well, police now, should be doing it. Now you've said it, hopefully someone will be embarrassed into doing it. I'm, I'm hoping. Yeah. 
Sandra, thank yeah. you for your call. Robert's in Essex. Robert, you're on the air. Good evening. Good evening, James. How are you? All right. What do you want? He's not. No, he's he sounds just asked how you were. Yeah, I know. Yeah, very good. I'm getting right. fed up right, with um, shouting at people. Okay. Oh, right. forgot. I'll, just I'll a minute. Right. Just, I'm going to come back to you in a minute. You put the camera on her now. Put it on. I just bought a present for your wife. Well, well, that's very sweet of for you. The, that... For the sorry about the dog. Oh, yeah. Cheer her up. Is it any food? No? Is it, what is it? Uh, thank you. No, she's being nice. This is taking it really well. I had to run back to well the car up, to get it. Well sorry. Up. Hello. Why is let, it so let it snow? Is that when you were old Christmas presents? Uh, sorry, no, no, no. I just needed a bag. Sorry. I just put it no, in the bag. Right, right OK. I'm not, I was going to shout at you. No, you, you can't shout. I'm sorry. No, but I can. She hasn't got me. What are you like? Uh, no, What's I going tell you on? What, you're in traffic totally, again. No, they've shut down by Trafalgar Square. They so thought so you were a Millwall fan. Why are they? I thought, can I, we, uh, Robert? We'll come back to you. I just said that once, and if you don't bloody well listen, I will get rid of you. And a, HR can do whatever. I'm not. I, I am head well. of HR. You don't need headphones. We're not doing calls in this bit. Okay. Right. That's great. So. How are you? Good. I'm well, sick of people Square. asking me how I am. Trafalgar I'm Square. still here. Yeah, Trafalgar Square. So I know we had uh, Rishi Sunak's uh, speech, which I thought was actually very strong, passionate. Yeah. Excellent. So that was yesterday. As long as it's backed up. Yesterday, if it's backed up, um, I've been trying to get through from Maida Vale hour and a half. What, since yesterday? No, it's tonight to get mm. here for you guys. And it's literally Palestinian flags. Uh, the, uh, and they closed off Trafalgar Square to stop off. them getting in there. Yeah, and now we're, you know, all the diverted in one lane. It just took a Well, you go every Saturday, so have you noticed a difference today since the speech? Well, it was, te um, I'd say, ten times worse today. Me really? trying to get here. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's because they've well, shut down. Maybe off more, because maybe. they've shut down the yeah. thing and they're arresting people. I generally well, well hope, hope they so. are. Yeah. Well, I, I because do. Because these hope people so. marching on the streets, shouting out these things, even though uh, Mohammed Amin, who was in earlier, was being very understanding and very liberal about the whole thing. Incorrect I'm sorry, about it. but he even did say to me, didn't he, that he, you know, as a Muslim, he would like to see Islam taking over. Already said how much of terrorists, you know, on yeah. some camps. Yeah, so and it's, a, it's a, a little worry with what's happened in Rochdale. Yeah, I, I mean, I've got to say, but voting I mean, should be compulsory. Well, yeah, I, I and I, there should I be agree. far better checks on who's voting than there are, because exactly. anybody can go and vote. Exactly. And a postal vote, you don't even really have to prove who you are. Well, it's, voting, it's, yeah. it's 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 worrying when someone hmm. who pretends to be a cat wins yeah. the by-election. He was a good cat, uh, though. He's very good at it. With yeah, with Rula Lenska. <laughs> and let me just tell you, Rula Lenska hasn't ever recovered from no. that. And every time she walks into a restaurant, they offer Meow. a saucer of milk. Her palms have gone hairy Meow. where he licked them. Yeah, well, have you noticed that? I didn't mm. notice that. Ruler Lenska's I would like to withdraw myself from his last comment. Yes. Ruler, if you're you watching... You want to withdraw yourself from... I think it was disgusting and appalling what he just said. Um, this is a bit of Rishi Sunak's speech. Hopefully, you've got the right bit, because I've noticed how many, how many clips were wrong around today. Uh, but this, not on our show, we have the best producer... And the best producer. Um, so uh, let's have a little look. Run VT. On too many occasions recently, our streets have been hijacked by small groups who are hostile to our values and have no respect for our democratic traditions. Membership of our society is contingent on some simple things that you abide by the rule of law and that change can only come through the peaceful democratic process. Threats of violence and intimidation are alien to our way of doing things. They must be resisted at all times. OK, um, I think he made a great speech and he's absolutely right. Minorities are trying to take over in this country. They're trying to do away with what makes Britain such a brilliant, great place to live. And if they carry on being allowed to get away, then these minorities, whether you're talking about trans issues or you're talking even green issues, get up my bloody nose as well. If you're talking about these kind of issues, which only interest a minority of a minority, because we got into this stupid thing of not wanting to offend anybody because it might upset them. Exactly. By the way, the, per the man... Who, who killed the cat, filmed it, and then killed a man. Oh, disgusting. A man. Not a woman, a man. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, you're not allowed to say that, James. Which is very rare, women Sue murder. Me. I mean, 95% and of murders. And this is the worry, the possible, uh, you know, Prime Minister, we could be having Keir Starmer. I couldn't answer the question, you know, what a woman was. I thought he knew now. Oh, I no, he, he, well, he, he should know, because he's He'll married... He'll change his mind again, he, though, won't he? He's married with two kids, so I hope he does know. Mm. But I did think that was a that was a strong... It um, was. ...speech, passionate well speech. It needs to be backed up. It should have been a lot earlier. Yeah, I think it's I a little bit too little too late. Yeah. But the thing is, isn't it what Suella and Leanne Tesson have been Yeah, and they get, they're getting in trouble mm. for it, for saying what and they think. And they've been yeah. given the boot. But we need a, a decisive leadership. And yeah. I think that's what's happened in Rochdale, where... People want change. They are so upset with the two main parties. Do you know what's happening in Europe at the moment? They're bringing back in the Baltic states conscription because they're worried about Russia actually invading various other countries. Uh, and when our minister was asked, he said, oh, no, I don't think we've got that bad. We are on the verge of a third world war. Our military are not being given the equipment and the manpower they need. And actually, it wouldn't do any harm to the woke wallies to actually now start uh, a little bit of call-up. Yeah. And how you do it, I don't mind. There's a lot well, of waste. But the armed well, forces yeah. don't want to be bogged down with them, so you'll have to get well, trainers from somewhere don't. else. And, and the fact is, I mean, a friend of mine that's a teacher, they're not allowed to tell any people off. They yeah. get stickers for everything. There's no yeah, winners or losers. Yeah. There's no winners or losers. Everyone's yeah. a winner. Everyone's the same. You have to well, learn to lose, you don't, don't you, with grace. And it makes you then yeah, more determined much. to succeed. See, when I was at school, I was bottom of the uh, register. Constantly. Uh, um, Constantly. All the time because of my name. And that, look, what, um, look what it made in 1927. <laughs> He took the record for the dunce of yeah. the whole generation. And because I'm severely dyslexic, which in the 50s nobody knew about, yes. so I was just stupid and thick and got slapped Well, you can be stupid and thick and dyslexic. It can, can happen say, in Can all you see forms. me now? Do you go to all the, the teachers? Well, oh, no, I'd and... like to if any yeah. of them were alive. But it, but that's what makes you... If, if you are told you're not very good at that, in fact, you're pretty flipping awful at that, then if you have anything about you, you will yeah, do you, something about it. You want to and, and I want to offend loads of people... So it wakes them up. But I, I just want everyone to know these protesters are costing us £30 million. Mm. And they'll lose your, your job. It's second only to the London and Olympics, you know what, the cost. No, but the, it, you know, it pulls the police away from tackling real, real crime. crime. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's terrible loss to businesses. Yeah. Um, the, the locals, the, the, my friends that are Jewish are leaving every mm. weekend. My other friends who are Jewish said they are more safe, actually feel more safe in Israel yeah. than they do Some in the city the of London. Some are leaving the country, actually, because they've got kids. So, so yes, OK, kids, you I, know, I totally agree with that, but I'd like to ask you your thoughts on the NHS because the doctors had a strike. Are they, are they still doing it or not? It's not making much publicity at the moment. But uh, a friend of mine uh, took uh, an elderly person to the doctors because um, to the hospital because there'd been a cock up on their medicine, they'd had a very bad reaction to the medicine they'd been given, and they said, mm. "Oh, come in, you you shouldn't be on that." Mm. Um, so this person in their in their eighties went into hospital, went to the ward where they were uh, treated, but the ward said, "Oh no, you've got to go down to um, uh, the uh, whatever it is dispensary downstairs." Went down there, told, "Oh no, no, we haven't got it here. You've got to go to the chemist that's in the car park." to the chemist in the car park and said, oh, no, 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 you need to go back upstairs to the ward and you need to get the paperwork. This, this poor person in their 80s, uh, literally hours to, mm -hmm. to, to get something that was a cock-up from yeah. the NHS. Yeah. Now, I don't blame the doctors and nurses. I wouldn't be here without them. But I do blame the stupid management no. of the NHS. Mm -hmm. They couldn't run a... And you know, the overduplication and of stuff. It, and you know what? The NHS is a shambolic mess. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it needs to be changed. But it's and a the, sacred cow. They won't do it. And, you know, I they're only in for a few years. But it's years, a service. It? it should be a service. And the NHS strikes force has cost 1.5 million appointments to be rescheduled. Which costs thousands of lives. Loss, that will be loss of lives. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. if you can't, as you know, James, you cancer diagnosis early yeah. is a very different story. And the story you've just told, my dear friend has just been told he's got cancer mm. and yeah. got home and he double checked the medicine. Totally wrong Wrong medicine was given. Could have been really dangerous And the for heart him. attack treatment is doubled from 200,000 that people need to be on, you know, heart treatment list to 400,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So huge, it's just falling huge, apart. It's falling it's just, apart. We're, we're bottom of the scale but in modern countries. One of the biggest reasons at the moment for all this cock-up is the ridiculous junior doctors and their stupid strike. 
they will earn good money when they've been in their business long enough. They've been offered a 10% rise. Yeah. The idiots in the BMA, and they are idiots, they want to come on and you want to debate it, we invite you most weeks, but we never hear back from mm. you. It's funny so, that we never hear back. No. Because I would like them to... Because I think you go into this profession as a vocational job... They're still asking for 35%. They can earn a grand a day, two, look, three grand as a locum, you know, in some cases, but at least a grand or eight, nine... So I don't look, know why they're moaning I've, about mm. money. They, there's jobs, plenty of jobs, exactly. a lot of money. But look, I, I had... Um, meningitis the nhs saved my life i i i, I will always mm. say the nurses are fantastic but the fact <clears> is it <throat> isn't working them. and it's mismanagement yeah. some nurses aren't some nurses yeah. particularly uh, sort of um, and the reason a lot of this reason is we have to keep on going out to other countries who need medical um, you know medical practitioners nurses doctors dentists mm. but they're coming over here because mm. we aren't training enough well, and and that is down to the, the NHS as well. Exactly. Because then they'll say, well, we've got 100 positions for diversity uh, yeah. teachers. Well, that, I know. And they're, they're actually in my local hospital, they're paying £45,000 for a vicar to be in there. I mean, is yeah. that necessary? No. I don't think that's I suppose necessary. Vickers, you have a chapel. Vickers have got, you've got a chapel. Yeah, but why, especially for that church? Can't they come in from their local church? Yeah. They've yeah. got a chapel in the hospital. Yeah. Another 45,000. And probably going they're going to gonna the have a, a, a Muslim and a yes. Catholic. And a, you've you got see, all the diversity yeah. managers. Yeah. Yeah. And every language you can think of. If yeah. you want to come to this country, fine. And if you want to come here legally and you want to work and contribute, absolutely, I have no problem whatsoever, uh, but you have to learn the language in two years. The Brits are no good going and living in other countries because they never do, and, and so I feel the same about them. But if you want to come to Britain, you learn the language and live by the rules over here. Don't moan about it. So one of these illegals, not immigrants, they come on the boats from over in France, yeah. they come here as criminals because they are paying criminals to come here. And one was had the audacity to complain that he didn't like the hotel he was in the That's other right. day. Did you see that? Yes, I did see that. Oh, God, it's well, they moan about the Wi-Fi, you know, the hair salon. And it's costing and... fifth, I mean, fifteen million a day. Yeah. And you remember, I think it was Richard Tice um, went yeah, was, yeah. actually outside uh, at one of in where the, the hotels in Pimlico, yeah. and they <laughs> were moaning <laughs> that they didn't I mean, have an ensuite bathroom. Amazing. wasn't and big the enough. Wi-Fi wasn't good. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. Then put them on a plane and send them back. Immigration lawyers need to be curtailed. Yeah. The law needs to be changed. And the message needs to go out that Britain is not the soft, squashy place you thought it was. We don't want you coming over here unless you want to come and love the country. Yeah. That's fair. This, Is that know, racist? Extremist disruption everywhere. And ex-servicemen sleep in the shop doorways. I, I, that's the Trump, point. And we're not, we're not looking after our ex-servicemen enough yeah. and those that are homeless, you know, our own. And the first duty of any government is to look after its own people. And we're not doing that. Yeah. So sadly, that is a sad state of affairs with the NHS strikes. I agree. And uh, no see of it ending, though. Royal Mail. I don't think we well, need, let me just say, the post office and the Royal Mail, there really is no need anymore. Well, I think after the scandal that's come out, it's it's disheartening. We mm. raised money, we helped in our village. Um, the lady that was actually featured in the scandal, oh, yeah. Joe Hamilton. And Did they turn on the population when it first happened? Yeah, I mean, no, they, they, no one would help. It was like, you're on your own, basically. Mm. And literally, she lost her... Uh, not just her work, um, you know, her confidence, her marriage, her family, yeah. people in the village thought some she was stealing. Some lost their lives, some killed themselves, and, um, went to prison. And now we're struggling. Royal Mail puts first-class stamps up to £1.35. But it's not only that, you know, it's difficult. If uh, Amazon don't charge you anything. Well, Amazon hardly. should take over the post office. Well, that's a point. That's a very Jeff good point. Bezos. I've got a feeling it will run. I think, I think it could go, you know. And if I was uh, in the royal family at the moment, I'm not. Um, but if I was, uh, then I would be removing my royal whatever. Stamp. It's yeah. private now, ever since Vince Cable sold it to those institutions and said they wouldn't sell it straight That's away. Right. And they did sell it straight away exactly. and made millions. And made millions. And, we all and got it's like all a money making scam. Yeah. Um, yeah. And are you mentioning the royals? Can we just. I, I'm very. I wouldn't if I no, would. Just well, about Kate. He's got inside information. No, just to say. Kate, uh, we wish her well. Yeah, and yeah. I wish everyone would stop trying to find out what's wrong with her. It's, I think it's, it's personal. It's private information. It's mm. a, a private. Exactly, yeah. It's medical. She's a woman. She's still human. Do and you know what's wrong be, with her? I have, I've been told from a 
a very mm. good source. I thought but, she did. But um, I just say, you know, let her mm. in her own time. And the she same with William. Well. You know, he, he missed a, a family do. It wasn't a big do. Uh, he missed a this family do. And everybody more. got sort of uh, upset about it. And he could have had an upset stomach. He could have been a little Anything. hungover. But the thing is, Prince Andrew took over, which everyone was going, well, he's not one yeah, of the guys not, anymore. Yeah, but it's not a public do. It was, it was a, a private service. It was a private service. service. Mm -hmm. And people now looking at him at the bath, saying, oh, he didn't look happy. What's wrong with William? You know, he's had a lot. His, his a lot father of stress. His dad's has young. cancer. His brother doesn't speak to his brother anymore. doesn't speak his to his wife's brother. Ill. His wife's going... poorly. He's got young kids. And his kids. mate just died. And his mm. mate just died, exactly. Yeah. So leave I think him leave him alone and, and leave Kate alone. And but we wish him I well also him. think leave your... Uh, you know, you, you, this Megan and Harry, leave them alone. Leave them alone. We're going to take a short break. Don't go anywhere. Very good morning, it's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. All Rosie. right, Oi, oi, treat, go. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman, trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right yay, too. Quite yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. I might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight-pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, missing. There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the fourth plinth. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I know it's I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. So he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family, and if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist did to, fail her. Yeah, we're we're supposed to it was another era. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth.
Independent Republic of Mike Graham. Weeknights at 8 on Talk TV. Uh, right, welcome back. Uh, if, you know, we got a count properly, I wouldn't be seen sticking my earpiece in, would I? No, would already no, be we don't have on that. the air, no. but still, yeah. here we go. Uh, we're going to be looking forward for probably half a new team, I think. Well, a whole but, team. You know, yeah, well, no, I think picture. Chuck's OK. I, I yeah. don't mind Chuck. I mean, he's yeah. a, as a producer, well, he's OK. Matt brings us Ferrero Rocher. Can we have, to, have you brought oh. Ferrero Rocher in tonight? I fancy one We've of those. got Deborah. She's working. It's well, Quality really Street, so it's not quite. It's gone. Well, down uh, she's you know made that major cock up with the uh, foo. Yeah. Foo. Yeah. You have foo. Look at that. Get on the microphone. Get on the microphone. As if anybody wants to hear their voices. <laughs> yeah. She's chewing as well. She's, she's chewing. chewing. Right. Let's get on with it. Um, the European Union is on the brink of approving a major plan to fight the climate crisis. You know, I'm fed up with all this talk about climate crisis. Mm. The climate changes. Get over it. The crisis is called by these net zero policies. Um, so uh, the farmers, of course, on the on the continent now are taking uh, it into their own hands to uh, sort it out, because what the uh, idiots of climate change are saying? Oh well, you you can't use this bit of land. You've got to grow trees on that, and it's just the most ridiculously badly thought out. Yeah. They can't process use I've ever thought. And so chemicals. let's uh, let's talk to our old friend Jim Dale, author of Surviving Extreme Weather. Uh, Jim, good evening to you. Evening, James and Ash. Evening. Um, can't you tell them that they're being stupid? All this sort of, you know, oh, we're going to stop farmers farming. We're going to stop doing this. You're all going to have to eat vegetables. It's yeah, not... it's it's um, it's not quite that. Um, Let's let's be clear about what what's going on because you you just said that uh, people are super idiots um, and I uh, stick by it. Yeah, okay, that that's fine. We we've had a little conversation before, haven't we, James, in the green room and had a little chat, and it's all, always been cordial. I hope we can keep the same. Not now. Nap. You're talking rubbish like this. No, I'm but not let's get to, let's get to the point. You want okay, to, you talk point, about a climate so crisis. So what, and... what's just happened in the UK? I'll, I'll give you that for a start, OK? So we've just had England and Wales, the warmest uh, <laughs> February since 1836, uh, southern England, the wettest on record, uh, and farmers mm. know all about that, don't they? Because many of their fields are flooded, uh, and that comes only two years after many of their fields were in drought situation. That is written on the can of climate change. That's what's <clears> going to happen now. And nobody all, is disagreeing with the fact that climate changes. It's always yeah. changed. But, but James, it's the speed. It's the speed. That's, and sometimes, that's, if you look at the history, time. you will find that the climate has sped up and slowed down uh, no. according to the times. And no, what happens? Not, not like this, but the difference is, is that is that the populations as they are at the moment are expanding, expanding, expanding. So then why don't you tell people really to stop together. breeding? That's what you I want mean, to do. Tell people well, to stop breeding. It's well, not, I can't it's, tell. I, I can't tell anybody what to, whether to, not to have babies and what have you. Why not? not? You, you, you tell everybody they does. can't have electric cars and everything else, or they I can't don't, have no, don't petrol that. or I, diesel well, cars. The person who says that is Richard Tice, who actually drives one. Um, so let's make that one absolutely clear. Um, I've been head to head. I don't know what that's got to do with it. Don't start well, labelling other people. Because he advocates one thing and does another, which is well. So do you, really? Don't you? Not really. No, I try my best. You know, uh, you go on about the change of, of weather. You know better than me that the weather has always changed. We've had ice ages. We're probably going to get another one. Uh, well, probably the, the change... That's the climate. You, you've got to understand the difference between climate and weather, OK? Climate entails weather in the end, and it's the extremes that we get to by a faster-changing climate made by... Oh, yeah. So, primarily by man putting fossil fuels... How do you know it's not the other way around, that the causation of the CO2 is the Earth warming up, causing more release of CO2? Good point. Thanks, it, it, it's, it's not that way around. If You you know, I will listen to... Climate, there, but it could be that way around. Yeah. We don't know. Um, and what about you know, all it, the things it, that are happening in space at the moment? You know, we've got a, a number of things happening on the sun, which everybody knows about. Uh, they all affect climate. And uh, this whole idea that we go down, we've got to get to net zero. 
It won't make much difference. But you've got to stop what's going on. And you, you say to yourself, well, what's one and a half degrees, which is more or less where we are at this moment from pre-industrial times? Well, it makes a hell of a difference going forward. So it's a bit We're like... We're a lot so less polluted. We're a lot less polluted now than during the... the um uh, the 1960s and 70s. Du well, during uh, the 1920s, uh, 30s, mm. 1800s. I mean, what when... about the thousands of people that died during the winter just in this country? Tens of thousands of excess deaths in the winter that can't put the heating on. The old people can't put their heating on. They're freezing to death and starving. This is these I net zero policies race. and taxation that's causing this. It's not a race to the bottom, you know. If people so just die, kill the pensioners, kill the 30,000 excess deaths. Hey, I'm a you pensioner, need... stop it. Well, no, I'm not sa I'm hey, listen, saying it's I, the bad we thing. Need... It's not a race to the bottom. We need to stop the deaths of cold and of heat. And it's the heat ones that So are never right. mind the pensioners, the 30,000 British just people dying every year. Seven. Forget them. So, OK, we're heading down to the bottom. Um, we're probably not going to change very much because ever since the uh, guys like you and everybody else, you know, have been trying to frighten the whole of the population, for some reason, stupid politicians have listened. Word. And it's kids listen as well. Really. It's giving good advice, and that's what we try to do. Well, you say it's good well, advice, and I'm like saying it's Attenborough. actually going to make no difference at all, no. except to make people's lives more okay. difficult. Yeah. No, it's not more difficult. There's nothing, nothing wrong, nothing wrong with 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 greening up your life, if you like. We all like trees. Apart from it kills people every year because they can't afford it. Not killing people. Of course they are. They can't put the heating on, so they freeze to death. Oh, their houses. You leave that now. If if you, if oh. if I wasn't sitting here and Dave, so David Attenborough was sitting here he'd be saying the same things as me are, are you going to argue against him? I think people? he talks a lot of rubbish to be actually honest with you you've both got a few quid you can afford your heating I mean forget forget the bloody heating for a minute this what done. net zero isn't going to make any difference at all because it's going to take at least another 10 20 years to get there and then we might find that actually we go down to net zero everybody's got rid of their uh, uh their cars and changed to electric everybody stopped eating quite so much meat which wouldn't be a bad thing yeah um, it's that james that's the direction of travel just to make a point on that gdp in the last year went up 0.1 in other words flat the the bit that didn't mm -hmm. was the green the green uh, side of things, the 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 that went up by 0 0.9. Yeah, because it's so small. Direct travel. It's such it's, a small proportion of people getting who... bigger and bigger and bigger, and well, that's it... the point. And, and as it gets it's... bigger, we're all going to live better. <laughs> oh, we're not. Learn by these things. This is science. It's not. It's science. one side of science, and science oh, changes every every few years. Science changes, and it will change. I am not against keeping this planet clean, keeping the, uh, the, the, the plastic out of the oceans, picking up the litter, not sending out the fumes. I'm just... No, it's a way I like to live. I don't want to see mess everywhere. And but, but I just do dead. not understand yeah. why people are falling for stories like yours. It's ridiculous. We now well, know that when mine, you get to the end... Mean, when you what get do you the, mean, like... I'm tell, mine, telling you now. Your mine. stories about what we should do, like turn to electric cars, let's say that. If we turn to electric cars, then nobody's worked out how we get rid of the batteries. Nobody has worked out how much of uh, the cars being so much heavier, how much the pollution yeah, they're putting out. When these things out. happen, it's by, it's by an evolution, not a revolution. We learn as we go along. Every time, if you look back at history, and you know, when we used to have phones that, that, that you know, in the 1980s that, that looked like the size of a brick, and now we end up with phones that are just, you know, pencil mm -hmm. thin. All of that black and white television is going to going colour television. Why, so have you, why are you talking pollution. rubbish when we're talking about the climate or the weather, because, you're just going because, off into this kind of so-called pretend political phase you go into. This climate is going to change. It's always changed. It will always change. It's freezing today. And we as ought said, to learn said, to live with it. Yeah. Ash, that's, that's the really basic stuff that you get wrong. It's freezing tonight. The seasons will always be here, climate change or not. Make that absolutely clear because of the, the angle of the sun and the dangle and, all, uh, and, and everything. That we know that. that. So why don't you say that changed. more often? Okay, I'll tell you. I tell you what. You. I tell you what. We we might talk in about what five months time, maybe. Okay, because we'll come back and I'll say to you now. Okay, this summer we may well be on course for another extreme, and I'm talking extreme when you get to the high 30s, low 40s. And why do I say that? Because the oceans are, are at record temperatures. 
some of the, t the some of the countries in the continent for the for in the southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere this the weather is going to change the weather has no, no, always changed change. the climate is changing the weather we it's don't have total control over the climate there are so many extraneous circumstances mm -hmm. that change the weather yeah. because okay. of the climate you're when never going to gonna stop school, it what we you... need to do is learn to live with it it was I a lot warmer in roman times in london wasn't it uh, no, it wasn't. Um, you're looking at a very, a very small part of of, of the globe. Um, yes, now it's, you're it just goes up and down, on. but Look, not to the rates that not, we're seeing. And remember, not remember to the rates that we're seeing. What uh, we're sorry, seeing now? When the when the last ice age happened, correct me if I'm wrong, because you probably do know a bit more about it. It started snowing one day and never stopped, and that's how the ice age progressed. I remember you and telling the me about ice that. Age, yeah, yeah, the ice age happened because the planet warmed up. That's how it all started. It, look, there's there's big am arguments. Am I right or am I wrong? No, no. It's, it's, I, I've, I've stopped you. Know, you. You've you know got what? I'm you know just what? a purely you know lay what? person. It, it kind of you. doesn't matter because it none of us. It does be, matter because no, it does not. We've got it, it people not, trying we, to rip us off. We don't have to look back twenty thousand years at the last age and, and dictate what went on then because what we're looking well, at now. A lot of scientists say we do. Is a very, very James. The, the the fuel that we've got is a very uh, the fuse that we've got is a very short one. The, the temperatures are, are, so are it's not going to make moving. any difference, you is it? Take yourself back to school just for one second. I take yourself want back to, to school. Go on. The greenhouse effect. We all did it in junior school or. or, he didn't or have it. I invented when I was in school. Okay, so we know what the greenhouse. I was told that the country would be flooded within the next ten yeah. years, and it wasn't. All right, we're get we're getting the floods now. And as I said to you, come let's let's come back in maybe four or five months' time when we're in that massive massive heat wave and people are dying because of that, and they will. People just die because, because of the cold. weather all the year. Al Gore said this twenty is. years ago, and nothing came true that he said. It, it's actually it's coming true now. Well, you just like Al Gore during, during two, last year and the year before. You, people died. You have joined Europe. this party, and I don't know why. You know, you've joined this party of doom and gloom. <laughs> And people are having to pay flipping, um, what, what, you know, Energy fees to costs. ULES yeah. and, yeah. oh, yeah, I don't know, loads of these, you know, extra green taxes. Oh, we can stick this on because it's going to save the planet. In ten, in 10 years' time, <laughs> it'll probably have gone up if it's going to go up. What we ought to be doing is learning to live with the weather and the I, climate. I would accept that, that you, we got to learn to live because it's better than, than, than not to learn to live and to die, if you like, which is why... I call we this all book. die. What is all this about we die business? <laughs> Everybody dies. The problem this well, planet yeah, has put... is there are too many human beings. So yeah, maybe you, you, you should put... be saying, oh, well, at least it's going to pack cap the, uh, yeah. the amount of human it's beings It's just a tax ruse, isn't it, and a way of population control. That's what all these green issues are. No, no, it's nothing to do with, with population control. Uh, every country it's everything control to do with population. population. China did it, didn't they? China did it, and they'd come off it to a certain degree. So, no, you know, they, we, they did it. Are you going to dictate who can have babies nowadays? Is that how it's going to work? You know, is that how it's going to work? You're going to dictate that. Let's you, be honest. I, I you are just thing. making it up as we you have. go along, like the rest of the green Because you make a good living out of the green issues, don't you? I mean, you make it. No, know. well, let's let's not... make something clear. No, no, let's make. You plug in your book there. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, I wrote the book for a good reason. It followed the first Made money. Yeah. Remember whether or not, because we, we talked about it uh, four years ago. Is it a free book, then? No, you've got to buy it. Your books, How much books is it? Are free, but let, let me make it clear. Authors like myself, and we don't make a penny from the books, to be frank with you. You write them because it's in your soul. I wrote about the weather and, uh, you know, as uh, the impact of the weather, what it does to us on a daily basis, which we all know about. Well, we didn't. And the next one, didn't an one. I could see it coming. And I wrote about it in the first book and I said, you know, we're going to have a problem going forward with climate change. And, and when we get to these extremes, it's going to affect us in so mm. many different ways, including yeah, the farmers, including the farmers to go back to where we started. You cut down loads of trees for your book. the book wasn't to kill people off or make to make money out of it. it I wrote the book to help people Michael Hawke as well who's a survivalist from the United States a bit a bit like the guy we got Don't, in, in listen let's not worry about why you wrote the book you're entitled to make a living and earn yeah. some money you from it. You have to be ashamed no, of making you, money. You know you I'm should be proud of it. Yeah. I'm not ashamed. Um, Absolutely not I'm proud of it. John in John in Liverpool you do make said, money. He's a bit rude about you I won't read that. Um, what percentage of CO2 
of the atmosphere is 0 0.04%. Oh, I see, I don't give him the answer. You've given him the answer. I, I already knew. Uh, OK. And it's and it's moving upwards. And the point is, is this, that, that feels infinitesimally small. But you know what? you got a drink in front of you, and I put a tiny 0.04% of arsenic in there. See how you deal with that, OK? Because it's the same analogy. Mm. You know, it doesn't take much to poison uh, well, the atmosphere. Then in that case, the lid on the atmosphere. But the Earth regulates okay, itself, you know, doesn't it? Homeostasis. Just, hang on. Dan from Kent says the climate emergency is like jumping out of the plane and inventing the parachute on the way down. Thank you very much indeed. Dan. In other words, what he's saying Kent. there is, is we're a bit too late, I yeah. think. Well, I think. we're not going to listen. We are not going to beat the climate. The climate will always do what the climate wants to do. And maybe the climate thinks it's about time uh, it made it more difficult for human beings because it is, as you've said, and every other you know, loopy climate person says, oh, we're too many people on the planet, that's the problem. Too many cows farting, that's the problem. You know, maybe, maybe nature has decided, well, I think it's probably uh, too nice a place too many human beings on it. But we can so, adapt. We can live in the coldest places on Earth and the hottest places on Earth. Humans will adapt yeah, James, and move where I, the water I, comes I, I would in. agree with you there. Do you know what? We, we are small when it comes to the, the climate and, and weather. We are really small. And we, we've got to learn to be... Uh, to, to, to manage it better, to adapt better. You're We're right too with small, that. though. Well, I think you know, I'd be right with everything, to, to be honest. Yeah. The two sides have got to come yeah. together. Yeah. Your well, side, which is about 10% of the nation, and my side, which is about 90% of the nation. You're talking You've rubbish. Got to, we've got to come together. Thank and you very much, Jim. Got to go, out. got to take a break. I'm getting bored. I liked him in the carrier. Ever feel like you're not part of the conversation? That you're not getting the full picture on the important issues. Or the stories that impact your life. Jim, who was on in the last hour waiting a year for a heart operation, blew us out of the water. Well, at Talk TV, we cover the issues you care about. I would love to give the nurses a massive pay rise. Give them one, then. With proper debate and argument, we tell it how it really is. And have some fun along the way. Talk TV for the stories that matter. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to ab and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. All right, oi, oi, treat, go. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, not a woman, trans woman. Isn't that? Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right, too. Yay. Quite Yay. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. Now, you might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh, Ooh. It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <Where is> it? <laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the fourth plinth. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, know what's, I know what's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans... Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So anyway, <laughs> just, yeah. minutes, four... Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. 
the UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, t when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist did fail her. We're supposed to, her. We're supposed to was have another moved on from era. That. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. <laughs> this helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Uh, right, thanks very much indeed again. I think we're going to have... No, all yeah. the chocolates you've given us is not going to be enough to save your job. Yeah. It's only Quality Street. It's normally it's Ferrero Rocher. Are you sure that? I like Quality sure Street. I don't want to support pie. Now he's offering me a pork pie. Yeah, Get human resources. That's Steak outrageous. Pie, actually. I want... steak and oh, ale. Yeah, whack it over it. Is it. No, no. He's Jewish. She loves I'm a steak sorry. and ale pie. Um, right, OK. Shall we carry on? Poor old yeah, Jim Dale. Very upset. Well, Jim Dale, uh, I'd like to ask Jim Dale. Can we put Here's Lizzie's microphone on? Yeah, you can have a pie now. Oh, great. There you go. Yeah. OK. Thanks, right, what do you want to say? We're doing a show. To Jim Dale is, oh. why doesn't he focus all his attention on, on China, who've got huge carbon emissions, and America, India? Yeah, we know he's India. gone. That's why we're talking but why, about But why doesn't he... Do yeah. that instead of mm -hmm. going yeah. on at us. We're because people don't. Cent. You know, they go, oh, say, so, well, uh, you know, China's cutting back on its population. It what about India? That. I mean, 1.4 so billion people uh, are lighting fires. Over, you know? Let's take calls. I want to take calls. Let's go to uh, Kamal in Harlow. Yes, Kamal. Harrow. 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 Hi, James. Hello. Yes, hello. Hi. Yeah. Um, I just want to um, pick you up on something that you said in the last hour you were talking about um could you, you um about... take your mouth away from the uh, mouthpiece of your phone because it's uh distorted are you on no, hands free or something no no i'm not no okay just no. A crap phone. yeah so in, in in the first hour you mentioned um you had a small you had a short segment about protesters yeah. um uh, people yeah. protesting the marches um the pre uh, peaceful protests in my opinion and um uh, Jane, you mentioned that um, people yeah. that were... Uh, Have you got anything to say or not? I mean, because yeah, you're dull and boring. Yeah. What's your point? Yes, what I was saying was, my point is that, um, James, you described people that went on those protests, yeah. um, you, you described them as a bit thick. Well, the yeah. majority are a bit thick. And because, violent. They yeah, you know, covered their faces and it's call, illegal. Can I ask you what your reason was for that? Because obviously... No, um, you can't. I, you I, do I, think you wouldn't Just watch the footage and you Goodbye. see how thick they are. Um... Anybody goes on a march and shouts uh, abuse yeah. because they don't understand the history is stupid. And they're violent and aggressive. They cover their faces and they cause. No, big I got problems. caught up in the marches, yeah. and um, yeah. when I asked one of them what they're marching about, they, no, they no. had no idea. No. They're just jumping on the back. And that, what they say to, quite often is, "You are a genocide enabler." Yeah. Don't we, I don't want to see anybody killed. Well, there isn't of a genocide. Not. It's not a genocide. For, for mm. a start. We all want peace. Rafiq. Yeah. In Yorkshire, good that. evening. Uh, 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 James, I think I'm going to upset you, but I'll be di I'll be di uh, direct. Okay. Uh, I, I take it like most people, you live in a place, you own your house. Tonight, I'm telling you, 4,000 years ago, the Bible, uh, the Bible or uh, the Quran said... The Bible is some novel written by people some time ago. The okay, Quran okay, wasn't okay. 4,000 yeah, years can ago, we, Can we it? listen to what he has okay, to say? Just, just, just let me finish the point. Whether it's 100 years ago or 1,000... I'm telling you, your, the house you live in belongs to me. You leave in that tonight. You will be, you will, you will, you will, you will, you will be happy. So how do you? How, I won't be happy. How will I not be happy? Well, if I if I take your house, will you be happy for telling you it's mine? Well, if you won't you be able to take money. my house. How are you going to do that? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to I'm going to take it away like the Palestinians have lost their land. That was all to do with the end of the Second World War. No, uh, no, listen, no, 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 no. Listen no, 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 to no, no, no. partition of, of the I, land, I, wasn't I it? I always used to think you were a fair, balanced man. But yeah. over this, this 
uh, uh, Gaza situation in Israel, you're clearly taking the side of the... I am taking the side of normality. No, 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 you're picking... Let me ask a question, let me ask a question. Where should the 800,000 Jews that were kicked out of the Arab countries, where should they... Shouldn't they get a land as well in the partition? Let's look at it. It wasn't the Arab countries who killed all their Jews. It was the no, they left. European, they left. No, 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 no. 1948, they all had to leave. They were driven out. So no, they need no, a home no, 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 no. Hang yes. on, hang on. You cannot yeah. turn yeah. back time. Learn to oh, live yes, together. You oh, yes, you can. What we need... Learn we need to, to live, live together. together. Remember, Palestinians are Christians... Some of them were Jews, yeah. Jews are Palestinians. About but they, vote, they voted in Hamas, sadly. Yeah. They're no, a terrorist. Well, 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 what do you expect them to vote in? Well, they're, that's what happens. That's why they're in the position they're in. You're a you, Hamas hold supporter. On, hold on, let's no, no, get no, no, you've got all talking. And do, you, do you support Hamas? Listen here. The other day, people were queuing for food. And did you see... Do how you support them? Hamas? No, I support Hamas. I don't... I don't. Can you stand still and stop throwing your bloody phone around? I'm not throwing my phone around. And what do you think you would do had... 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 I am trying to have a debate, but unfortunately you go muffled and stupid and you're talking rubbish. You start referring to the Bible or the Quran and everything else and then we're lost. Calm down. You can believe whatever you like, but as far as I'm concerned, that's made up by man, all of it. Listen... You know, what would you do as a country if suddenly some idiots marched in and killed every man, woman and children? Innocent man, woman and children. Hmm. You're defending that, and that's appalling. Um... Uh, we're going to say sorry about that, Lizzie. I got a little over. No, uh, I can understand it. That huh? sadly, when people talk about this, they get so angry and wild, and they don't get their point across at all. We must go to the news at nine o'clock. In the meantime, we'll be back in uh, well, about three calls. minutes. Nice, nice calls. We'll see about Just that. Love. Want to get to grips with the stories that really matter? To cut through the spin and the BS. Want unvarnished and fiery debate? Then join us for Crosstalk. One o'clock every weekday. Very good morning, it's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. This is Talk TV. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to happen and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. All right, oi, oi, treat, go. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest. When a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman, a trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. Now, you might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get. This. <laughs> but 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 I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I was just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <miss it. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth plinth. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't <laughs> too keen on that. I'm sorry. Uh, I, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested 
Alternatives. There's a sweet potato. That's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist we're, we're, we're did fail to, her. Yeah, we're yeah, supposed it was another that. era. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. This is Talk TV. at 8 on Talk TV. I'm getting ready for my new primetime show on Talk TV and radio, 7 o'clock Saturday night, James Whale Unleash. I don't need you coming in here, following me around with a car. I'm so sorry about this. Saturdays at 7 on Talk TV. Uh, absolutely is. Join us. Unleash James Whale Saturday night with Ash. And uh, I thought we'd be really nice for this last final. Uh, we're going to talk to Xander Cloudsley, um, who runs an organisation called This Is Rigged. They're a protest group from Scotland, and they're encouraging people, which I'm very cross about, to shoplift. Mm. So I'm not even sure what they I'm say speaking sort of like to. Robin Hood the thing, but producer they're thinks it's just thieves to give to the they poor. Give, yeah, they give me up. They rob. Yeah. rob Supermarkets and give it to the poor. Yeah. Can we start? Lots of people have no money. We managed when we had a lot less. Yeah, I, we, I'll see how fair I want to be. Don't you worry about that. Um, now, Rafiku is going on and on and on and on about, you know, the. the I'm the not marching. going on and on and on and on. Sorry, we're having a debate. And, and, and uh, James, I, don't, I think you were just about going to lose, and then the break came. I'm not going to lose because I'm you right. Were, People because, like you, because, you threatened no, 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 to break no, no, into no, no, my house. Let, no, no, let me, let me finish. Well, if you ever let broke into finish. my house. You said house. you were going to move into his house. Yeah. You, cut, you, you cut people off. I do right? sometimes. Well, it's very survive. easy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now you're I'm, annoying I'm, and being boring. Have you? I'm letting you no, back no, on let me, let because me just give you, you said example. you said. You know the RIA? The RIA never existed. The RIA. No, they used yeah. to be Can Margaret we keep Thatcher's time. Relevant table? to what you want to talk ah, about. Let me let me let, let me explain and then No, and then I haven't got time. You think you are well, entitled to an enormous it's, amount it's, of time. It's, You're not. It's not a debating it's, society. It's, if Britain had gone to treat the RIA the same way as Israel's going and treating uh, in Gaza, if they had gone a bond, because the fact is and and and, and the fact is uh, if the IRA had continually bombed this country from uh, from Ireland, north or south, I think we would have been a lot. No, they did not. What about uh, uh, a, a lot? I don't the remember them. I do not. Are you listen, the, in, listen, listen. In a dip, get him off. Yeah, annoying, get him off. Annoying. That's better. The IRA had a particular point they wanted to make. And I think in the end it came to a peaceful solution, although there was an enormous amount of terrible violence. But I don't remember the IRA going into a town, decapitating babies, killing everyone, raping women, raping women, and shooting as many people as they could find who were just ordinary people, unarmed, sitting in their homes. Well, some 
sometimes when you treat people the way Israel has been treated people. Good, bye. The rape is resistance, is it? There, we got the real answer, yeah. Rafiq. Bye Thank bye. you, Rafiq. Howard is his and Leeds. I can't, be, I get me so angry. Yeah. They're all oh, you won't there, debate. It? Of course we're debating. But yeah. not when you start talking rubbish. Yeah. I actually <laughs> think the way Israel was founded could have been done better. Well, it was the British that did that. The British we made a that. cock up, we but then that. we weren't born. But, you know, the majority of Israel is Jews from uh, Arab lands that were kicked yeah. out, so don't start and, all and that And Jews again. and Palestinians and Arabs... Well, Jews were been, Palestinians yeah, before now. ...have been able to live together yeah, not, peacefully. Not, not really. Never well, really quite. Yeah, you know, there have been, well, been in Palestinians Iran, there was, living for in For millennia, Israel. there was a big Jewish community, mm. zero now, maybe about but six you know, or seven. I know it's difficult for you to see it from, from the middle, but I see it as a way that these people are going to have to learn to live together. And whilst there are terrorist organisations, and by the way... The or, we just the, said that about the Nazis. We've got to learn to live with the Nazis. No, of course not. Well, it's I, the we, same thing as the Nazis, Well, well it? I... It, yeah. You know, at the moment, there are a lot of innocent people being killed in Gaza. And like there was in not, Nazi Germany. Yeah. Millions of, we killed millions it, of innocent Germans. I understand that. But we now have the ability to see into everything that is happening. Yeah. And that's what has been going on. Yeah, but there's so, a, it's a very... Uh, the lowest proportion of innocent civilians. Other armies can't believe how low it is. Yeah. They keep quoting 30,000. They never say any terrorists. It's just women and children. They, they don't say how many killed by because Hamas. Because they don't know. Well, what I, I was trying know, yeah. to say, right, yeah. is that I think that it is time. I, I think Netanyahu is doing a lot of harm to Israel, by the way, and I think it's well, about he'll be time. gone once it's yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because but of I the think it's time that on the West Bank, all those so-called settlers who took yeah. land off the people yeah, well, they in England, did that in Gaza. They, got, they took need, all the Jewish yeah, people out of Gaza, and that to may be, be a negotiation yeah. point. They need to be removed. Um, right, let's stop this. Let's talk to Howard in Leeds. Good evening. Good evening, James. How are you? Good. Don't ask him how he is. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, many, many years ago, question. many, many years ago, James and I, sh with a couple of other people, shared a bottle of champagne at the you warehouse. Sure, you should be talking about it on air. You should... Did we? Yes, we did. On a bench were... in a park. <laughs> no, at the warehouse nightclub in Leeds. I remember the there. warehouse <laughs> nightclub uh, in but, Leeds. But, what year was that? Oh, I'm going back many years ago, James. Now, many years ago, it's uh, in the 1980s. I think late 80s, sometimes, God. when well, you was working in Leeds. Why were you out with James Wales? He's no, my friend. No, I was, I was at the warehouse with friends, and James was there with a few people, I think, and then we all had a bottle of a few bottles of champagne. Yeah, well, anyway, you, you were, you were one of the directors of the radio station I was working on, wasn't <laughs> I? Oh, no, I wasn't. Oh, okay. I worked okay. at the warehouse. And what happened, tell us about what he did uh, on the night. We don't bother how it's what happened. No, don't, went, well, don't tell him. Tell us. Such a good there, actually. Who? Do you remember Mark, Mark Arm? Oh, well, it was probably after my TV show. Mark Almond. Mark Armand yeah. used to come on quite regularly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's get Mark Almond on. Actually, let's get him on the show. Not Armand. Almond. No, it's Almond. Going back to the more serious point of today's uh, debate, and I won't get excited like the last gentleman, but the last gentleman needs to know that first the Quran, which is their holy book, Palestine isn't mentioned once. Mm. Not once. Mm. Jerusalem isn't mentioned once in the Quran. How are you so uh, well educated on this? I served in the Israeli army and I've studied uh, the history of Israel and all all the problems and things. So when did you serve? Um, did you have any action out there? Men, well, I served many years ago, but I was in uh, the engineers, yeah, in bomb disposal. What, in Lebanon and... and what what uh, do you I, think... I worked on the border with mm. Lebanon. I worked in um, on the borders with Jordan at the time. There was a lot of bombs. Uh, we were, we were mapping out um, landmines mm. and, and uh, against personnel and against, against personnel carriers so like and a things. sapper. Mm. We laid out... Ha land, Howard, land I'm, I'm running out of time, so I want to ask you one question. I want to ask you, as a former uh, member of uh, the IDF. Israeli army of the IDF, uh, how do you feel the criticism has been against them at the moment? Um, what do you think you would have done in a similar situation whilst uh, trucks were delivering aid and you were there trying to uh, keep the peace? Well, the producer that spoke to me before talked to me about that, and she said that the, the atrocity that happened when 100 people were killed, um, th that wasn't down to Israel. That was down to aid trucks going into, into Gaza, 
Um, and obviously people are hungry, people are starving. I didn't know she and... was so well informed about that. And if the so-called producer, who's not, uh, actually starts asking questions or chatting to callers, then that goodbye. Irish lady. I have heard there was a stampede there. And I have no Irish ladies it working. Mm. It was a stampede, but then mm. when, you, when you've got people in Hatapama who who aren't wearing uniforms, who are just dressed in plain mm. clothes, mm. who are shooting, yeah. and Israelis that are Israeli soldiers are there, and there's a mass of people. You 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 they come at, at trying to attack you. They shoot you back. don't know who's shooting. Do, I, yeah. I understand. Do you think that the mainstream media in this country is being fair to Israel? No, no way. All that, I mean, when you listen to the mainstream media, you listen to BBC, you listen to Sky News, 30,000 people have been killed, 35,000 people have killed. Have they actually seen the, the, the graves of all They're these unbelievably bad journalists, people? aren't they? Yeah. They really have lost Howard, their, their way. Howard, good to talk, to meet up with an old friend from Leeds and the warehouse. I don't suppose he's there anymore. Thank I'm you very much indeed. Yeah. We'll talk again. Uh, Simon is in... I can't really You've got to be a brave that, man to do bomb disposal. Simon is in Winchester... Cathedral. No, I can't see. Good uh, Simon, good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? No, Simon. No, we can't. Can't hear you no. at all. OK. <laughs> I wanted to follow up on something that James said way back, which was his comment on Rishi Sunak's speech. Ken? We, have, have we had yeah. a Ken on talking about Rishi Sunak's speech? He no, is Ken. Ja it was James. James. Was oh, it James? What did James say about ja it? Oh, right, James, okay. was, James was really... Ken, didn't he? And what did he say about ja it? James, oh, I'm, yeah. if I remember correctly, was quite positive about the strength of Rishi Sunak's speech. Yes. I think that's correct. That is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I think in the same time, James was, I think, talking about what I call the traditions of this country and yeah. protecting our traditions and protecting our population and so oh, on. Correct. This has triggered off in me, forgive me a bit, I'm looking at the Rishi Sunak speech and saying, hang on a minute, this speech actually had some value and some strength to it. And what it triggered off in me was a thought, really, it's time to relook at what we mean and what we want out of this word called democracy. What do we want as far as you're concerned? Well, what I'm... I, did you ever follow the Reef Lectures uh, with Professor Ben Ansel? Uh, no, I'm afraid I we, we must missed have missed one. out on I, that. I, I recommend those yeah. four lectures. Can I, listen, I'm sorry to be rude, Simon, yep. but this is the sort of programme you want to hear. You're on yeah. Radio it's a bit 4 too high for looting for Times us. Radio or one of those sort of yeah. Have you got any things? nightclub stories? <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. What is you? your view, Simon, on the well, speech that our Prime Minister made? Was it yeah. good or was it bad? Good it was overall good. Quite right. It was basically good, and I think what's triggered it off in me is we've got to look at the weaknesses of our democracy. Polarisation is one of them. Mm. You know, and it's... How would you, if you were Prime Minister, how would you improve things? What would you do? Well, I think... Um, I think the first thing you have... Well, I, I'm not a politician, I'm more of an academic, so it's more difficult. But I think the first thing you have to do is to almost look at a sensible cross-party approach. Simon, it's people like... Uh, shut up. Sorry. Simon, Simon, I'm sorry to be rude, but you're talking like a politician. You're talking in exactly the same boring old farting ways they talk during Prime Minister's questions. And that is the problem with this country. Sorry, sorry. If I was the Prime Minister, the law would be changed immediately. The forces would be on the South Coast. Compulsory voting. They would lock up everybody who voting. comes here illegally or they'd stick them on a plane or a train and send them back to France. They <laughs> don't do anything. They spend their time waffling on and it yeah. has to stop. Thank you, Simon Ken in London. It better not be that. Oh, for goodness sake, why have you put him on? Hallelujah. Yeah, let's go to a break. Hold on, Ken.
How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. <laughs> All this helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Right, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman is not a woman, trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. I might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight-pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, miss it. There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth plinth. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family, and if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist did to, fail her. Yeah, we're we're supposed to it was another era. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Good morning, it's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Uh, very good evening. Welcome back to uh, the James Whale Unleashed on Saturday Night Live from 7 till 10 on Talk Radio and on Talk TV. If you Starring want to join Ash. us, 0344 499 1000. And Monday morning, Nicola Thorpe is returning. Right, back of the net. With... Um, with Je Jeremy Kyle, isn't yeah, it? Oh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, no, Jeremy Kyle on on talk, TV, TV and radio at uh, great way six, to start the day. Six thirty in the morning on Monday. Yeah, but he's missed Nicola Thorpe, hasn't he? Well, of course, yeah. You know, he's yeah. missed her yeah. a great deal. Yeah. Now, the real life Robin Hood is about to uh, join us. Well, let's get into it, shall we? Xander, good evening. Hi there, James. Thanks very much for having me on the show. Okay, um, are you a toxophilist? 
Uh, you may need to give me a definition of what that is. No, if you're the new Robin Hood, you should bloody well know. You can't be Robin Hood, then. You failed at well, the first anyone, hurdle. Well, I don't think anyone uh, this is rigged is uh, trying to be uh, Robin Hood per se, but maybe I can just explain a bit what you're sort of talking about. Do you about. wear green tights? So, um, uh, I've not lost also, you no. for some um, reason. Can you hear me? No, you're definitely yeah. not Robin Hood. Hang on, Xander, yeah. hang yeah, on a minute. minute. I'll tell you what it is in a moment. I just want to show uh, my viewers and uh, let my listeners listen uh, to a little bit of what you do, but there will be no toxophily within this. Anybody knows what toxophily is? Get in touch. I'd be surprised idea, if anyone yeah. does, but you never know. It's a board game, isn't it? OK, here we go. Let's look at this. This man dictates who gets up all to eat and who doesn't. We the man that strip market in jury price of baby formula, nuts teeth, and baby food to the prices that they were in March 2021. Because children should have to go from free. Hunger is a political choice that people like Simon Robert here is maintained. Food and love and luxury is a healing right, basic human right. That was Sainsbury's in Glasgow. Uh, Xander, that's your organisation who does that. And you smugly also go in and uh, steal. I'm not even sure why we're allowing you on the programme, to be honest, because you are obviously a crook. Interesting. OK, well, I think it's important. I think you raised a good point there about stealing. Let's maybe talk about stealing for a second. Uh, stealing, I think maybe we can agree on a definition, which is, you know, taking something that is not rightfully yours from someone who it rightfully belongs to. Uh, and through that lens, we can see that we, the people, are the ones being stolen from. Right now in Scotland, You're one an in idiot. four people... How, how have, long have you been employed? Uh, I've been employed in community food work for the last You've uh, seven You've never been employed, years. have you? Uh, never been I work employed, in never paid work. any I, tax, never done I, anything I, I useful I, for this country except go in, steal and vandalise the outside of a shop. And you well, smugly you sit there on television. And, what, what and, value ethic and quite have. frankly, uh, you depress me. But you don't, any, you, you don't, they're not stealing from you. Because you're, you're, you're not letting me get... Have, but the shop has a price and you can sentence. choose to buy it or not. Be quiet now. They're not stealing from Be you. Quiet. I was going to say maybe you one talk. sentence. It's like, yeah, okay, excellent, thank you. Uh, to answer your question, I currently work in community food provision. and I run community meals and emergency food provision for people who are experiencing dire food insecurity. So to answer your question, that's what I do. So I do think yeah. I actually am quite well placed to give my professional opinion on the matter. Really? Which is that the situation How in terms of the cost of living crisis is that things are going from bad to worse. Yeah. It's, I don't see that being relevant, but I'm 30 years old. I don't, I, see that. The... I don't see what you're talking about is relevant. And if you're 30 years old, you should be even more ashamed of yourself. Interesting. You well, really people, think, I think people, people are people going to actually... be ashamed of themselves are the CEOs like Simon Roberts and, Ke and Ken Murphy. Who no, are you talk complete rubbish. The hundreds of millions you don't of have to shop there. While people are literally you can grow your own food. You can you can eat very cheaply as a family. You don't How have are to... people meant to do that when they can barely like survive? You can make like food quite cheaply. cheaply. Do that. What sort you of thing make... do you steal? We don't... Well, th th again, you do steal. You've asked about 100 questions. Of, like, what sort of thing do you asking. steal? Let's stick with To that. get back to the point you made at the start, with the Robin Hood point that you tried, you made at the start, what the actions th those are, what we do is we go into supermarkets, we take things off the shelves without taking them from the shop, and we put it into the food bin in that supermarket. So that's not shoplifting. So that's just simply not shoplifting. No, it actually and so is. then we put the it supermarket... Is. No, it's, you've, no, it's not. You've stolen it's not. it. As yeah, you've stolen it from the, the shop. shop, shop just because you haven't taken out the shop, that doesn't. And putting the shop into the minute. position where they have to, what they, what they have to do is then say, do we leave this food in the in the food bank bin to then go to the food bank so that people can actually yeah, get? You've stolen it. it. Or yeah. do they show their hypocrisy and then take it out and then show that what they really only care well, about they is just profit put it back rather than you've the well-being? And I'm not, I'm not giving anything to food banks anymore if people like you are doing that. And I think James, a lot of our viewers. Do you understand? Do you understand that last year there was literally like a, approximately a thousand children hospitalised in ambulances due to the acute effects of malnutrition? Probably, is probably the problem acute, in Scotland probably, right now due listen, to malnutrition. Probably because they've got shit parents. Mm. Probably because they're being brought up by people who are not intelligent enough to have children. And when are we going to start in this country? Because you're showing how when are we going to start? Because the people when, watching this are the ones listen who to me. This. I was a farmer no, I think, at 17. I think you need to listen to what the people are saying. The people are, the saying people are not saying, you're talking rubbish. You are talking to a bunch of people who get f stuff free from idiots like you. Hmm. 
I, I'm really, I'm, I'm quite flabbergasted at your ability to try and make this seem like a controversial issue. What I'm saying is that people should not do be starving, you not and you're think, trying to make that seem like a divisive issue. Do you issue. not think vandalising a supermarket, stealing the food, because that's what you're doing, even though you're putting it in the uh, bin in there, but you didn't Makes pay for no it. Yeah. Do you not think you are absolutely behaving in an appalling way? Do you actually think I think, think the people, people that are behaving in an appalling you? way are the CEO corporates who are literally pro are profiteering. It's well-known fact that they are profiteering. That's what you business. are. The baby business formula for. has increased by 25% over the last Shut few don't years. Don't shop there, then. Price. Go somewhere else. And that, what do your parents no, think is, of what you're doing? this is for all supermarkets. What do your parents think I don't, of I just, Again, you seem keen to talk about absolutely every single aspect of the situation except for the one that's key, which is what the is people the of Scotland, what is the, the people of the world over, are going hungry needlessly while a very small number of people But you can make nutritious here. meals is, on, on, your, on your social security, Go and security, cook mate. a meal. Go and open no, you can. classes. You can. Go, like, you can. Again, I, I work in community food. I'm telling you. Yeah, the and you probably it's with, in your are uh, interest hungry. to promote this Pas because that's pasta, what you Pasta, vegetables... You Fast food is cheaper than ever. You understand how it works. They don't like. I have no interest. I have no like benefit. They've just got to stop smoking fags. Beans on toast. Have beans on toast. Salad. I had that for dinner yesterday. It was very Pasta nice. Pasta with sauces. It's all very cheap. About 30, yeah. 40 pence a day. Noodles, yeah. Noodles. Well, obviously yeah. you two would say that. Like you, I, I, I think it's pretty fair to say that the cost of living crisis probably is not affecting you two very much. I'm telling you from the perspective of people who are affected by this. And they are living in Social Security's gone up. There are all can, kinds can, James, of can ways. I you, can I tell you a quick story quickly, James? I had someone sign up to one of my emergency food provision services recently who told me that the, she was deliberately skipping meals because she had to get a new pair of shoes because the only pair she had was in tatters. Now, if that person was in my chair right now talking to you, mm. what would you say to her? Um, I don't know because I would be in a different uh, situation in my head than talking to a smug idiot like you. Goodbye. No, but, oh, no, go you know, away! Like, you are you are, you are a, you're a thief and a vandal. You the vandalize a building. Well you don't well need well to well go well to that building. That It'll have absolutely no no consequence at all. No consequence. What on earth are you talking about? Every, everybody at some not everybody at some point, but people their own wallet ahead of our well-being. That's what's happening right now, James. You're so I think the fact jealous. that you keep interrupting me is you will never, the fact that you keep interrupting ever. me is proving that you clearly think that you clearly see that I'm right and you're scared that if I finish a sentence that I'll actually prove you wrong on your own show. You will so never you prove me, me wrong sentence, because I'm right. Would you would you prefer people... Do you think that people should go hungry? That's a very simple question. Do you think food you think should be free? Should do you think food should be free, do you? I think absolutely it should be free. I think people should be so able to access their own food regardless then, of their own is free. Yeah. Make your own okay, food. Maybe let's take a wee step back. I'll tell you the two yeah, chickens. Hang on, thing, just has, a okay? minute. The first one. Would, what would you say to farmers? Should they be giving their food away free? No, they should be compensated for the. For the Who's going to pay for that? The, again, I'm going to take a wee Who's step back. Who's going to pay for that? This is regs to, the, well, the Scottish uh. government obviously should be paying for the well-being of people in Scotland. They have, a, they have a fundamental right to ensure that we have a human right to food. Again, here's um, a, here's a, a viewer like, listener. Uh, a view, listen to me. A viewer, a listener said, uh, Zander is 30, he's never really worked, never paid tax and is probably on benefits taking the money and food from kids' mouths, says Mick. What do you think about that? Um... Mick doesn't know me. I'm not really interested. That's not like that's just not true. Do you and get any again, social I, I, security money? No. Again, that's nothing you to do with what I'm doing. Look, look, look. I work. You are again, a thief, I'm aren't you? Two demands that this is right, Tad. You're a which thief. Which is that the, the supermarket slashed the prices of baby formula to March 2021 prices before they increased by an average a quarter, which is a total profiteering move on this part. I'm pretty market. sure. And the second, if you the Scottish are, government listen, fully funded a, a government. A I am pretty sure. Uh, you don't listen, do you? I am pretty well, sure. You can talk. Go away. I've had enough. I'm not talking to this frat anymore. I'm getting sick of people going on about how poor... Oh, you know, we have social security. You say you've heard of people talking about ways... being hungry. Boo-hoo. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it must be such a shame for you to people have to like to people you talk about being hungry. What are just stop all the rest things? of you that commit these acts and think you're doing something great. You're not. Well, you are turning well, not, people against you. No one thinks you. we're doing anything great. What we're doing is we're pointing the finger you are where it should talking be pointed, rather than rubbish. demonizing people who are Nobody going will be allowed to go hungry. If you went to the DHS people are or going somewhere hungry. like that, that is what is happening right now. It is probably because, because yeah. they're yeah. not really good at being parents. Yeah, we had a doctor on 60 grand who said she had to go to food banks. So it's a load of bull, isn't it? Why can't they just afford it on What's the, the on the money that they get? She earned 60 grand and still said she had to go to food banks. So are you saying because this one person is in one situation... Well, no, it's just replicated across the board, security. isn't it? Why, Why can't they afford it on, the, on the social security money? What, you're right what do they do with their social security money? Be quiet. Do you what? think 
that you'd be better off running a charity, getting money, rather than vandalising and stealing, yes or no? I'm going to, ask, I'm going to answer that question with another question, dude. Do you think that babies should be going hungry? Good to buy. Right. The mothers should feed them. You know, what a... Well, 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 I, 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 trying to, but I want him like, off yeah. now. I've had enough. He's boring me stupid. Yeah, I don't want to speak to rubbish. a bloke who thinks it's fine to go in and steal stuff yeah. and then go and... You don't need to go to that supermarket. If you... Get him off! He's still there. He's gone. Are you lot really not wanting to work on this show? I can get a new producer like that. Not like Chuck. And I can get a new vision mixer, a new whatever she does, and a new whatever you do. You're what? Well, irreplaceable. The fact you bring chocolates in yeah. does give you All right, you'll be all right, yeah. Make it rare rush, I next But week. I don't even know why we interviewed that plonker, to be honest. Yeah. Silly yeah, moustache as well, they, wasn't it? Rubbish moustache. Well, One of the worst I've ever seen. If you are very hard up, then there you go. There are there's benefits charities. you can there's get. There's charities. There's food there are, banks. You, you don't know, need to steal. There's lots of free food shame. out there. Not everybody can be wealthy. And I, I tell you, on social lot... security, you get. I don't know how much you get, but you can afford to make meals out of that. And the other thing is, there are a lot of people who have kids and don't even bother to bring them up. Have no idea how to. Well, bring if you them can't up. afford them, you shouldn't. You know, you can't moan when you can't. Yeah. You know. You can get in touch with us and tell us we're talking Victim culture. Wrong. Everyone's the victim yeah. these days. I'm getting fed up with it. Yeah. Mohammed in Reading, you're on the air. Hi. Hello there. How are you doing? No, yeah, I think good. it's Mohammed. He's reading. <laughs> well, that somebody can't spell either. Uh, yes, Mohammed. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I just want, I want to point out that I totally agree with uh, Rashid's uh, sort of speech, uh, 100%. But the only thing is that our country is not in implementing the British law. In my case, personally speaking, it has not been implemented, and I'll tell you why. Oh, good. Um, people have the right to leave Islam in this country. It's a Pe country. People have a right to what? Leave Islam in this country. To leave to, Islam. To, to leave Islam. Yeah, as I have. Well, you'll be yeah. in a lot of trouble, yeah, I would think. I think a third uh, of 16 to 24 exactly. think you should exactly. be murdered, killed. Exactly. Three of my mates were almost murdered. Mm. One of my friends had to be... Uh, escorted out of Bradford under armed guard. He was almost killed. And these guys so, say it's a minority. It's not a minority, is it, Mohammed? It's a big minority. It, it's a big one. And not only that, James, in my community, this is a thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, grooming gangs, right? Uh, what they don't... The rape uh, gangs. Yeah, yeah the rape gangs, right? In our communities, right, it needs to be addressed because when I was brought up in, in my community, we are taught white girls are slags, white girls are this. So it's all ingrained in us. So the racism in our community has to be addressed. But there are, the I know many, many people who are Muslims um, who are just like me. Well, just the vast like majority Ash, aren't who, rape gangs, obviously, they're, they're, but it's the other yeah. way around. It, it does, it, and, and the thing is, there has been millions of rapes over 40 years. Each girl raped hundreds of times adds up to millions of rapes. Absolutely. But the thing is, right, uh, what I'm saying is, right, the, the, the law of this land has to be exercised, right? Why is it that people like myself have to live in fear? The Jews have to live in fear because of my community. Because they're scared this, of being uh, tired by the racist yeah. brush, aren't they, Mohammed? They're cowards, aren't they? This has well, all got to do, hasn't it, with religion? Well, it has to do with cowardly politicians got, and yeah, institutions. Absolutely. But why is religion... Christianity had the uh, Crusades. They went off and killed anything that wasn't a Christian. Mm. Uh, you know, Islam has been doing all kinds of, of nasty well, stuff certain, as well. Certain. All these religions... The reason, yeah, on, the reason, uh, thing is, uh, thing is, James, right, in, in Christianity, right, Jesus never taught anybody to go and murder mm. and, 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 and take women as slaves, whereas Mohammed did. That's the issue. Yeah, but That's it changed, issue. didn't it, after Salman Rushdie? We never had these problems before the 80s. I, I, you know, I went to school with loads of Muslims, but it happened after the 90s, pre presumably from Iranian backing, which is where the fatwa came from. And from then it's gone downhill really badly, hasn't it, Mohammed? Well, it has, and, uh, and the reason it, happened, it hasn't happened 40 years ago because my communities were not as big and as strong. Once they established their strength, then you yeah. see the true... And it was a parallel... You know. They separated themselves. In let, the old days, they would us, assimilate. Thank you for that, Mohammed. Uh, it's a, an interesting point. But if religion could be put on the back burner, and I know some people are very religious, Christians and Muslims and everything they do, and 
Gosh, look at America. But it's good to get a Muslim you, call out. We've got Abdul, yeah. and some people ring and they do say what's going on, yeah. but it's, it's not many. But... Meta's in Birmingham. Meta, good evening. Is it Motta? Looks like yes, Meta to me. Man, yes, Mota. Good, yeah. good, good, good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How do I pronounce your name? Uh, uh, Motta. Motor. 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 Okay. Well, from Birmingham, where the motor, motor. industry come, came from. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I just—I've got a question for Lizzie Condy, if she's still listening. No, no we'll, we'll answer for here, her because we know how she right, thinks. Okay. Uh, what has she done to her face? Made it look absolutely Useful. beautiful. That's Thank makeup. you very much That's indeed. Makeup, Good, evening. Um, Good evening. And uh, Good what, evening. A, what a stupid little idiot you are. Uh, Nicola is in uh, Buckinghamshire. Bucks. Nicola. Hi there. Hi James. All right. No. How are you doing? You've still got that, that idiot with you. That's yeah. you. Yeah, you made it yeah. you made it viral, didn't you, your idiot call a couple of weeks ago? No, you said you were What did you say him. again? Remind us of your idiocy. You said you were gonna sack the guy next to you because yeah. Ash he I'm doesn't come out with anything intellectual. He just gets I did against you though, because that was a really easy phone. thing to do. I, I do was see that me you were talking about. No, it was her. Phone. You make everyone seem and intellectual. You can't make any questions up for yourself. Why don't you like me, Nicola? Come on, say it. Say because you talk about no, come on, rubbish. give us the well, real hang reason. On, hang on, Nicola, let's do this as a debate. Yeah. Nicola, what rubbish... Nicola, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Nicola, can you hear me? I can hear you. What is the last rubbish thing that Ash ever said? Exactly. He said that the Arabs were expelled from the Arab... The Jews were expelled from the Arab country. Yeah, and well, why, why... Was that not right? No, it wasn't. Why oh, was it not it right? Was, what happened then? You forget about the 800,000. The Zionist Jewish project wanted more Jews in the land because... But where have all the Jews from Jews. Iran and Saudi they Arabia and... Jews. Where have they all gone? There's no one there anymore who's Jewish. Where have they all they gone then? To, Are they, they had hiding? Those, they had to bring those Arab Jews to into Israel to make up the Jewish population. No, they were kicked out. So Look into your history Jews books, Nicola. You're going to need to read a bit. Well. Can, yeah. you, can you read? The other thing you said was beheaded babies. That has been debunked by Joe Biden. No, it hasn't, you I don't idiot. know why we keep saying it. Bye -bye, oh, but is Nicola. it all right the raping all right, no, then, no, is it? No, no, I'm not talking yeah, to people who are stupid. Yeah. Uh, at in Birmingham. Choke it. Choke it, it says it. Choke it. What do you want? Well, I'm, I'm actually shocked by the attitude of both of you. You're both Then demented. why don't you go somewhere else? Why look you're at us, demented, increase our brilliant audience. And you talk down at people. You Stupid people, yeah. You're a pompous old man. You know, you got cancer. He's talking about Yeah, me. but, you know, you're, you're just awful, both of you. You're a horrible you're person, disgusting. you are. You're disgusting bringing up that, aren't you? You're a disgusting you, creature. You you're horrible. You comes on your show. You insult the people. Who do you think you are, both of you? You just said about his cancer. You're a disgusting I, I piece of crap. It's okay. It's okay. Let me listen. Yeah, I, go and get a shave, yeah? And this man, oh, well, James, well. But you can't. It's against, so I thought it was against the rules. You're so show. egotistical. You're full of it. But you love the yeah. show, Get don't watch you? Watch and choke it. You love the show. Make sure you show. don't choke. Yeah. Oh. Umar in Bradford. I think we might have Stared struck a line. Stuck, yeah. uh, yes, Umar. Umar? Probably not listening. Well, must be listening. No, he's not. He's Hi, guys. Oh, can oh, you are. Yeah. All right, man. Where were you? Uh, I was hiding, but I'm back now. <laughs> Good. What can we do for you? <laughs> Right, boys, I'm watching you on TV as I was only just scanning the channels and you won't believe it, but I'm absolutely fascinated by both of you. Amazing show. Thank Which you. one, more with me or James? Uh, I like the guy with the ball there, but I like Thank the you. guy with the, the hair as well. I um, like it when he tells him off, your mate tells you off. <laughs> yeah. I never tell him off. No, I tell you off because you yeah. do stupid things the whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Umar. Right, two things I want to point out. Both of you doing a fantastic show. You made a new viewer, first thing. Second thing is that Mohammed that came on, fake person, he said he's left Islam. Why don't he change his name then? Why is it still Mohammed? He likes his name. Well, I like why his why name. do you have to change his name? No, no, but if tr trust me, people, you know, when they leave Islam, I know this. Obviously, I know a few people. They're changing the name to Jacob and John and them. Well, kind maybe of not all. We've got Abdul in Liverpool calls, as well. He calls us in. Abdul, he um, hasn't changed his name. Which one? Abdul, Abdul. rings us. Yeah. I mean, you know, the Muhammad is a nice name anyway. Yeah. People like, you know, there was the famous boxer, wasn't it? Obviously, he was Islam from a, a Muslim, but Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest athletes there is. It's a great name, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's a beautiful name, yeah, but it doesn't suit that guy, though, the guy I was talking earlier. But the main... You main don't thing. like that he left yeah. Islam, do you? What's that, sorry? Do you not like that he left Islam? Is that what it, you're... Uh, personally, I can't. I can't comment on that because that is a is an individual. He's got the right to do what but, he wants. But to no, do. The, the, but do you? Th some people say from that religion that he should be killed for that. Uh, personally, I've not heard anything about that. So well, I no, don't know. If they do. That is one of the you know that some extremists do think in this country. Well, that's wrong. Islamically, that's wrong. Well, they say that's right. They say apostate should be put to death. It's do you thing. do you think some of the imams? In some of the mosques during the week and over the weekends, whenever people are there, do you think some of them are guilty for maybe stirring up a little bit of hatred? Not all, but do you think some of them are? Uh, that's a very good question, but because of, I mean, I'm 42 myself, and the imam there is 43, 42, 43 himself. He doesn't, he doesn't broadcast or ever talk about um, the things that you say. No, he's mm. always talking about health and you know life and stuff. But he never talks about. Well, that's good, it, isn't it? Yeah. But you're yeah, in Bradford. Yeah. You know, does it? You know, you must know of things in Bradford that go on. Um, <laughs> there's a lot that goes on in Bradford. Listen, I know Bradford very well. I used to work on a station called Pennine Radio some years well, ago. And yeah, it... my dad used to listen to that, God bless his soul, yeah, back in the 80s. Yeah. Bradford. All right, OK, I might be old, but there's no need to, to go on. Listen, Umar, call us again. I'm heading for a commercial break. Uh, oh, so... you? You're all right. Well, I've got a to commercial get... Commercial break? I've got... Have I? Got I've got minutes. Chuck to come on. Um, Umar, thank you for that. I'm going to fit in a couple more calls. Alison... In uh, Acton, West London. Well, that's you, you just need to put London. West London. Um, yeah, okay, Alison. Hi. Hiya. Hi. Alison, what can we do for you? Um, I've never spoke to you before. Um, well, that's a rather bad This is a big, this is yeah. a big moment. This is a very big moment. Mm. It is for me, yes. And uh, us. What I, want to say, what I want to say, James, is um, I've got um, two dogs myself, mm -hmm. and um, I have. Um, Anyway, I was on a bus in uh, going through Ealing the other day mm. and uh, stopped Ealing Broadway on 207 and um, the bus, there was little, all the people got on the bus and there was a little old man, got on with his little Jack Russell. I've got a little old Jack Russell in mm. myself here in Petra. Mm. And um, the bus driver refused to let Muslim bus driver, Somalian bus driver on the 207, refused to let him on because... Um, he was afraid that the little dog would offend these, uh, some of his passengers. Why? Why? Apparently, I've heard this. I, I don't know. But because uh, uh, I have friends who are Muslim and, and come to my house who we might have debates and discussions about things, um, but also uh, love my dogs. Well, my dog. But he let your now. Jack Russell on. That's Jack Russell discrimination. What's he got against the other guys, Jack Russell? Well... <clears throat> Well, I've got, I mean, I didn't take my dog on the bus, no. obviously. I didn't, I didn't take listen. Oh, I see, yeah. right, OK. Um, so so what is it Muslims have against dogs, then? I don't know. They're, um, they're haram, they're... Um, is it a devil thing? About like their religion, that they just... Um, they I mean, they're right about those XL bully dogs, I tell you. <laughs> well, I hope that the bus driver was sacked, OK? Yeah, did you report well, him to the authorities? Uh, no, but I should have done. Well, yeah. I, mean, I was just a bit myself, to be honest. Yeah, I, mean, I think I that's disgusting. Yeah. Disgusting. I think you should get on buses with your Jack Russell and do some undercover uh, reporting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I might just call do us that. next I'm week. Not... Do it all this week and tell us what the results are. Alison, good to talk. Thank you very much indeed. Sorry we didn't have long, but we have to do this. Ever feel like you're not part of the conversation? That you're not getting the full picture on the important issues. Or the stories that impact your life. Jim, who was on in the last hour waiting a year for a heart operation, blew us out the water. Well, at Talk TV, we cover the issues you care about. I would love to give the nurses a massive pay rise. Give them one, then. With proper debate and argument, we tell it how it really is. And have some fun along the way. Talk TV for the stories that matter. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Oi, oi, treacle.
when JK Rowling says, let's just be honest. It's all she's saying, let's just be honest. When a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman. Trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. Now, you might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <listen. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth plinth. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. That's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a trans... Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist we're, we're, we're did fail to, her. We're yeah, supposed it was another era. That. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place uh, where you get the truth. back yeah. now i thought we got rid of this a little bit i thought we managed to and you haven't had any makeup have you yes i had a very oh, little bit you very you've hurt well, his no, feelings. Feelings. I, know, I, I, I cut myself i don't know how i did that trimming your moustache possibly yeah uh this is my producer chuck this is my host james and this is whatever and this is okay. ash we don't know what he does but um, we love him all the same yeah so uh to embarrass me he comes up with clips of me 30 or 40 years ago no. Well, it's somewhat older than that. I mean, the t the, I've got three today from over 70 years ago. I wasn't born over 70 years you ago. Were, actually, you were, actually, weren't you? Um, you so were. you're like this because on TV Hell this week, for the first time ever, we're looking at Ash Gould. What? What? What are you yes. talking about, Willis? So um, Talk Radio obviously originally launched in 1995. Mm. That's right, yeah. What was it for? 95. No, it was 95 okay. on 10.53am. Mm. 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 February 14 was Valentine's Day, 95. I was a huge fan of the original Talk Radio. Yeah. Huge fan. Yeah. And I used I to was. listen to you all the time. I went along yeah, yeah. For, a, for a job and they wouldn't give me one. I know, you, you came later. You would play Caesar the Geezer, didn't you? Yes. Caesar the Geezer oh, was right, there for don't a little mention bit. that name. I no, love Caesar the Geezer. But yeah. Did I, he go to prison or did he not? Is that someone else? Let's talk about it. Um, I uh, I went for a job and they said they didn't want any TV celebrities. Yeah. And I'd already been on the radio for 15 years even then. Hey, what, are you suggesting that people in the and media the don't know what they're doing? Well, the people who were running talk radio at the time, which is not the people who are running it now, certainly didn't, because mm. I was a bit bit angry because I thought, you know, I'd like to... Yeah. I was doing the TV show every week and I was 
coming to the end of, of wanting to do it just on TV. Yeah. Because I like doing it like this, but it got more and more and more on TV. Went downhill, didn't it? But also know? the fact that your TV show is called The James Well Radio Show, yeah. it didn't occur to them that you that was on the radio. Well, that was at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. But then at the end, yeah. we were recording. Yeah, the shows. Yeah. Two shows every other week. It wasn't yeah. as good, was it? Yeah. Yeah. I have no. to say it wasn't. I liked the first few years yeah. when it was yeah. just you on the radio. Yorkshire, yeah. when it was up Yorkshire. But yeah. uh, I said to the bloke who chatted to me, I said, I don't know why you invited me in, really, but I'll have a job here when you get the boot. Oh. And so when I went in to get the job, the guy who'd... Uh, a, bit of a, a bit of an arrogant twallop, what was um, his name? What was I'm his first name? I'm not going to mention his name. I, I um, him, was that Bill? Oh, no, 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 he was no. one of my favourite people. Jeremy. Favorite. No, yeah. it was oh. long before that. Jeremy. Jeremy, yeah. Was it? I don't remember. I liked him. Yeah. Did you? Was it useless, wasn't Bill. Though. No, Bill's one of my best mates. He's great. <laughs> yeah, Bill okay. Wrigley. Yeah, yeah, he's a great guy. Because yeah. he's the one who's the boss. I thought he was the boss. I mean, we no. had our issues. Anyway, we're running out of time. We, we had, haven't even shown any videos yet. We yeah. had loads of companies took it. But anyway, go on. All right, so this is your first ever appearance on the TV, I believe. This is on Talk Radio UK in 1995, and this is Ash when he was your producer. Have a look. Mm. And things like that. But there was loads of local shopkeepers that had to pay protection money. They were absolute bullies. Well, you're a black cab driver. Oh, what's your name? Firstly, Simon, and you, you like London black cabbing. Reggie's right, busy pushing the it up. I think he actually did a job that the police force should have done. I think we have to look at the... I think that's uh, the most stupid thing I've heard. Some stupid things, Tony, and that is the most stupid thing. Thank you for your call. Yeah, what I, I find... John really, Lennon glasses on. What yeah. I find difficult is that people say, oh, I don't know how you've done this, you've become so... I've just... I've been... You've so always been rude 50, and miserable. 50 years... I've, I don't like those shows where people phone in no. and they're saying, oh, it's lovely to have you, and, of course, it's your programme. And, and that was a phone-in about the craze, by the way. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. By the way, since Annie you Nightingale... You look the same, though. He oh, says no, you, you no, had a big age. black mop Since top. Annie Nightingale, I'm the longest unbroken national radio person in the UK, I think. Oh, wow. He wouldn't get a Surely job Surely you should get else. inducted into the... Exactly. Well, I'm not in fame. the radio hall of... Uh, mm. All right, next up, we're going back to the 80s. Uh, now, a lot of people don't know this, but you were a big champion of women's wrestling in the 1980s. You wanted mm. to bring it to the UK. Was I? Yeah, you were oh, a big right. supporter of female boxers. Okay. Um, so we've got a lovely clip of you. Jane Couch. Uh, and Jerry Hayes. And in this clip, oh, you, get, you get punched in the ghoulies. Mm. What? He's never recovered. Uh, is this, is this is? Are they going to hurt each other or not? Do we need Where a do you care? Just oh! Hurt, oh! Like, oh! 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 hurt you if you oh! sit down, pal. Where's Jerry Hayes, my my bodyguard? These girls Hayes, are get killers. Get they're here. beautiful and they're killers. They okay. rip each other apart. You stand, and you. You don't. You let them stand <laughs> me up, right? Okay. <laughs> Actually I assaulted think, Jerry. Hayes. I actually do remember that now. We should get Jerry back. He's still going, isn't he? Yeah. 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 He doesn't look he's the same. Character. He comes on quite no. a lot. Yeah, he yeah. actually does. He yeah. looks the same, doesn't he? Well, he, twice yeah. the size, and his hair's gone white. But yeah. Apart from that, it's still curly though. Well, yeah, it's still yeah. the same. Yeah. Now, what's next? Are we and finished? And finally, oh. um, now, do you remember in the eighties, people got into exfoliating? It was it was a big thing. Yeah. People started exfoliating their skin, yeah. and they you, overdid it. And you suggested that people should start uh, exfoliating their buttocks. This was, a, this was a big thing. Again, you really yeah, championed this in the yeah. 80s. Yeah. You believe that women should exfoliate their buttocks. So you invited a top female journalist into your studio to demonstrate how you do it. So this is your first Me Too a moment, top. I think. Let's a have a look. Top. Let's have a look. Can I, can can we, can, can I look yeah. in the, the monitor? Can we just turn you... Can we, you have to go right round because... You, you want to do it right round? Well, so yes. Kind of like, like, it's, it's, yeah, you don't do it. No, 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 no. Gently, gently. Jerry, on. Yeah, can I, on that side. Just hold on to the chair. Hold on to the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm doing this on okay. behalf of the nation, you realise? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, And that's like good. That. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, very, yeah. very good. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. so every day, yeah. how often yes. would you do this? I'd, so, I'd do it. Uh, yeah. Actually, maybe I'd do it every hour. If, Would you? Um, no, no, you'd do it once a day in the morning after your shower. Yeah. You know, okay. It was a different time. And a better time. Like that. It was a better time yeah. and things were allowed. I've got my wife's sister just sitting over here with yes. her husband. I'm sure you've seen worse tonight. than this. And she, the face she just pulled <laughs> was yeah. terrible. Yeah. I mean, you, you couldn't get away with doing that now. Well, could you? I don't think you could get away with it then. That was the amazing yeah. thing about your show. You did lots of crazy stuff on that show. Well, we were on But it was midnight, midnight, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So it was yeah. just like, you know, uh, every every area has that in America. We still don't do much, no. really, which pushes the boundaries. Not saying no. that pushes yeah. the boundaries. Well, I had a show on funny. ITV at Midnight Quizmania. We did yeah, crazy like, things. You never on that rubbed show. anyone's bottom. 
No, but Ofcom, Ofcom, Ofcom did get me though. Oh yeah, they well, got me. Really? What did they yeah. get oh, you yeah. for? Oh, right, we, oh know we don't need to. We don't need oh, to delve into that. It's not. Old. It's not my TV hell. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> and I looked at that lady who was a female journalist, and she's now one of the big, big bosses yeah. in publishing. No, she's like a very, very successful her executive. Get get her her on. On. What? Bring her back into exfoliator yeah. we'll bosses. Bring the Forty, 40 and years pick. later. Yes. No, but okay. it would be fun to get her on. I'll see if I get it. She's very important now, but I'll see if I can get her. And I think it was all thanks to you. Yeah, well, it was, obviously. Obviously, yeah. obviously. I mean, we did, did some fairly outrageous stuff on that show. We've got time we for one... We had Bernard Manning on. We've got time for one more call, but I have to quickly say, coming up next, it's Plank of the Week. Oh, if you're yeah. watching on the TV, and if you're listening on the radio, it's Andre Walker. And Danielle, is it? Don't ask me how that works. I have no idea, but somebody needs to pull their finger out but somewhere. That's, but that's what we have on offer for you. Yeah, so and the late night phoning from 11, Danielle and on, on the TV. Well, no, it's on, on the TV yes. as well. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. So there's a little split after us. <laughs> yes. A radio show with Andre. Yes. And a TV show with Andre. And Danielle. Yes, and yeah, Plank look, of the Week there. next. Yeah. Yeah. We like to mix, mix things up, don't we? Yeah. Oh, dear, oh, Confuse dear. the audience. You yes. can all Keep smile their in there. You can all... So oh, hang on. Danielle says I could do her bottom. Yeah, it needs exfoliating. In. Look at it. Come in. Terrible, is it? It's a terrible state. Have you got something to exfoliate with? No, I'm not. Here, don't you Danielle, dare. Danielle, yeah, Danielle. 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 Dan